This is what is possible when everyday people come together in the collective realization that all our actions, no matter how small or how large, are powerful, worthwhile, and capable of lasting change. Right now, who we are as a nation is that we have a crooked path and it is time to make that crooked path straight. We can do better and we can be better because a better world is possible. These struggles that we are taking on are generational. These struggles that we are taking on are long. These, struggle, these struggles will not be solved in two years or four years. It will take our whole lives. But this is the fight for our lives. This is the fight of our lives. Hey, one goal, one thing, one move, and that shit don't change. It's real niggas do real fucking things. Real niggas do. And there's only one goal. One thing, one move, man, that shit don't change And it's certain, real niggas do real fucking things Real niggas do real fucking things Oh my gosh, so today's technically Black Friday Yay I ain't Black blaming a motherfucking thing I stand by with some of this on the review on that show. How like if it's for games, go get them games right now, y'all. Yeah, I think yeah, we, need, I think I we guess mean so. to give out discounts on Black Friday. Say what? I think we mean to give out discounts on Black Friday. Why? They're not Black Friday is part of a. Uh, did you get government assistance to be a weed man? Get tax write-offs to be a yeah. weed man. Well, guess what? That's why they. That's guess why what? they can afford you, to do you that don't, because you don't give out this deal on Black Friday. <laughs> you will be government assisted. All right. Yeah, I'm just when I call the feddies on the Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> that's fucked up. Hey, nigga, play ball, ball, play ball. But then you screw when you got a cop. Who, who my customers? Who cop big? Mm. Let me throw. Let me throw Joseph Pound under the bus. Under the bus. Full, full name. Full situation. I mean, son, I'm a drug user, not a drug buyer, a uh, seller. I mean, so I'm a drug buyer, so you can't go to jail for buying drugs like that. If they, uh... Wait, in a transaction, you can. Yeah. But, <laughs> catch the but transaction. they got a lot of people in jail for buying. Yeah, for buying right, right now. But and if you, you get a certain like, amount, they can at least stick you with a, a, a freaking ticket. I'm gonna be like, and if you get a certain amount, they will arrest you. So you <laughs> and a whole other amount, you will get arrested. Man, I'm a user officer, sir. I bought this for you. You a fuckboy if you're a user and you fucking rat on a weed, man. Yeah, that's grounds for murder. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's fuckboy. I'm not saying you would actually do that. I'm just saying, generally speaking, man. Fuck, man what that's some fuckboy fuck shit. You feel me? If you're you, I don't care. If you if you buy weed, you're fucked up if you tell the cops on a weed dealer. Man, you selling rich in my neighborhood, you going to jail. I'm not going to hit on nobody that don't do no drugs that do that. Even though I wouldn't agree, that's your prerogative. But you're a hypocrite if you smoke weed and then rat on the weed, man. And then man. rat on the weed, man. Like, that's... Oh my god, hypocritical ain't even the word for that shit, dog. Yeah. Like you just crazy. You just a like crazy dog, person. Nigga that does that shit is a petty ass nigga, dog. <laughs> There's yeah. no limits to where that nigga go. And that's when you need to get that ass whipped. Yeah. As, as, pistol whip, rather. That's when you need to get that ass whipped all day, man. How y'all judge your Thanksgiving though, man? Oh, it was amazing. Got to see my family and we ate amazing, amazing food. And uh I got really drunk. But that's every holiday pretty much. And uh yeah. It's a good thing. <laughs> this nigga D was giving tutorials on how to make gumbo. Oh yeah, I was uh, giving out science on the fine craft of gumbo making. Um, I charge 30 an hour for lessons, so if you would like to learn, you can email us at flywithbats at gmail.com. Or you and, can just uh, Google some shit. Or you can just Google some shit. But you shit. can't nah. trust them. Nah, you nah. can't always trust them. Trust the video. Because mm -hmm. any, any any recipe that you do find is still going to be missing the love ingredients that you just can't even write down because they're intangibles. You know, that's what makes gumbo gumbo, the intangible stuff. Don't put tomatoes in your gumbo. Or you will die. People do that. I hate that Don't shit. put potatoes in your gumbo. No, that doesn't go in gumbo. Sorry. Those what are about people that put potato salad in their gumbo? That's nasty to me. I think that's but they preferential. Got, but they got no other people who do that. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to hate on you if you do that because I know no other people who do. I wouldn't. That's I don't, nasty I, to me. I, I don't. Uh, of course, don't put hot dog weenies in your gumbo. Yeah, I'm not coming over. If, 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 if that's a hot dog weenie in your gumbo pot when I open it, like... I'm passing on everything because I, I, I don't know what you got on this you believe on this is cool? Plate. Yeah, like this was okay for you. Like I'm pretty sure you didn't wash your hands when you, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you cook this shit. Now, this is something that's not often in gumbo, but 
I don't mind it. Uh, it's becoming a thin crawfish. I won't mind crawfish in my gumbo. I don't think I would <laughs> mind it, but like I've never had it. I don't respect it. I'm like, oh, you know, it's just what's the difference between crawfish and shrimp in your gumbo? Shrimp is bigger and it just it gives like, a little bit more flavor than crawfish. If they give them both, if they put go, if they put shrimp and crawfish in, I'm the not gumbo, gonna get mad. I'm just, I'm gonna eat I just don't. I just, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I, I just gonna, I'm just gonna look at it because like it's untraditional. So I'm gonna look at it like, ah. Uh, it's what to I me. Mean, it's 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 yeah, yeah. seafood. It's a seafood. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's since it's a sea. It's not like putting a whole potato. Like what the fuck is a potato well, yeah, doing in my gumbo? But I, I, guess, I guess any seafood you throw in, I'm gonna be open to just because it's gumbo and you know I mean, it leans for that. I guess nigga don't want strain too too far. We already putting chicken and, and sausage in the shit, and it started from okra back in Africa. It's it's so been like, freaking, but chicken and sausage has been in New Orleans gumbo since forever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm saying yeah, like like I feel like we did, we derived so so far from okra to where now it's a shrimp chicken. So I don't even like okra in my gumbo. Me neither. I hate okra. That's gumbo. like a whole. That's a whole different kind of gumbo. You got. They are different. Ty- that's another thing. There's different kinds of gumbo. Gumbo. You know what I'm saying? Okra gumbo is okra gumbo, but seafood slash filet gumbo is a whole different different kind of gumbo. I don't like okra gumbo per se. Me neither. I like both of them. That's great. Mm-hmm. I'm not like hating on it. You, you from New Orleans, dog? Like, like, I'm not hating on nobody. Can't be that. Like that. It can't be too slimy. That's the all key about okra gumbo. They're not making it too like it got to be just right. And it's very difficult to, to do slime okra. Yeah, like, it's, a, it's, it's a trick. Very difficult. It's a trick to, and most people don't right do the trick. They just throw the gumbo in. You got some slimy shit. Right. I and can't. some people like the slimy shit. Uh, but yeah, so I feel like gumbo is uh, the bee's knees. That's what I'm saying. So like with the seafood aspect of it, son, I rather crawfish in my gumbo no, these cra- days. Crawfish is the more than, than anything else. Then yeah. I'm no no. What I'm saying, I'm about to go to to one that I wish. I'm not really too uh big on now as an adult. A uh, crab, like I'm, I'm I'm big on crab. I don't mind if you put the crab meat in the gumbo, mm-hmm. but like Just as the whole it, crab itself. Am I am I like these? You know we grew up with they throw, they throw half the crab and the crabs in the gumbo, but then I get messy and I gotta break it down. I got I don't be feeling like doing all that no more. So I'm like like I love crab. Don't get it twisted. While I'm eating my freaking gumbo with my spoon, they have to stop it. Even the, even the meat that's on the even the meat that's on the bone, you gotta stop and eat this meat off the bone. Like it'd be great. If you just gave me that same meat without the bones and the shells. Nah, I'm not going to lie. My laziness as I got older does to like order gumbo without the crab. I just avoid the crab. Or sometimes sometimes I'd be in the mood for it. But, but for the most I always get I think the crab, but I just, I just eat it last. Like I'll, I'll yeah. eat my bowl and then I'll crack crabs afterwards. And also things that tradition with the with just of eating the crab with the gumbo. Like that nigga's like too is like, all right. That's gonna be a part of it. I know when I eat this gumbo, I'm cracking a crab as well. I mean, you know, I was gonna get the crab in your bowl, though. You know what I'm saying? But I think the Most way it looks. Most people do get to try to get a crab in your I'm bowl, just, some kind of crab. If it's on the fucking arm, leg, back, or breast. Depends on the person. Like we always say, preferential, what we're saying with that level. Yeah. But it's weird to see a gumbo pot without it. <laughs> yeah. Even if I don't eat it, yeah. when I look in the pot, I need and if it's missing, like even one claw, just like I need a claw hanging <laughs> out somewhere, somewhere. Dog. I need a dead nigga in there. It kind of, it kind of, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it give, it give, uh, not solidify your gumbo. It uh, it uh, what's the word? What's the word? It just dresses it well. It dresses it well. It what's the word like solidify, signify? It uh, it caps it stamp of approval. It's like. Yeah. Cr- gives credit to. I, there's a word for this, and I can't. It validates it. There we go. Thank you. It validates your gumbo. Yeah, it does. At least validates your gumbo. I would agree. Even it if did. you don't even partake of the crab in there, just mm. seeing the crab in there is like, okay, somebody mm. know what they're doing. Right. <laughs> yep. 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 Somebody did yep. something. You don't see that right. crab? Yep. That is a, is a, is a warning sign. Yeah. Yeah. And it's still a flavoring aid. Yeah, right. It's really a flavoring aid because, like you say, everybody don't eat crabs. Like we put crabs in our gumbo, but everybody in our family don't eat the crabs. But some of us do, and it's really more just for like flavor. Like it definitely adds like a par- particular flavor to your pot that you want. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But you don't have to necessarily eat the crab itself. It also gives it a great look to it too. That's what we just said. Yeah, it just it dresses beautiful. well. Yeah. Um. Anything else? What happened with your shit, Joe? Oh man, I went to Creole Mafia for Thanksgiving. Uh, my homeboy Sean. Please let the people know that you're saying that in jest. Yeah. <laughs> Before people think it's Sean is in the Creole Mafia. I'm gonna let y'all believe what y'all won't believe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man, my brother Sean, um, his wife, uh, Shannon, we always go by their family. Oh, well, I've been going by with by Shannon and family and Sean and the family for most holidays since um I wanna say maybe 2008, 2009. Like growing up, my family didn't really celebrate too many holidays too often, or when we did, it wasn't it was pretty shitty. So and when we got older, and after the, some of the matriarch and the patriarch of our family died, the shit really kind of died down, too. No one really did it anymore like that. And so that's when I started, like, they started inviting me going to their Thanksgivings. 
Fast forward to say, man, they Thanksgiving. I love going there every year. It's always popping, bruh. It's always at one of the auntie's house. And all the aunties be living nice. You know what I'm saying? All the family comes through. Everybody cook their own dish. The cook, the kids, like of the, of the new of the generation that's coming up that's in their thirties and twenties and, 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 and shit like that, that's married and all that, they gotta fix dishes now and the older elders gotta judge it. People win prizes off this shit. Everything's homemade. Uh I know I had to judge me a couple of uh, things, like a sweet potato pie, which was rolling. They yams with the oh, it was just dog. It was just amazing, dog. My Thanksgiving was great. Then on top of that, I go to my for work, because I had to work. And man, work was popping so hard. I went there from six and got off at six. Did a whole twelve hour shift. It was rocking. And the food that Willie brought out, you know what I'm saying? Who's the owner of the page bar? He um <laughs> he went to Atlanta for the win that Atlanta played when we played Atlanta and they don't. And his friends out there treated him to a taste of Atlanta. And what, what was, is a taste of Atlanta? Nah, this is what they serve. The fuck is that besides peaches? Dominoes. <laughs> yeah, pe peaches and hot wings is all I think about when I go to Atlanta. Man, dog. Is, uh, what is it? That peaches? No, <laughs> <laughs> y'all know oh, Atlanta my second home, son. And yeah. the main thing I think of when I think of Atlanta, food is wings. You can find a wings. That's why I thought I thought there would be some wings out, but it was like no, it was like wings was and like, peaches, dog. It was like dominoes and shit like that. How's dominoes y'all taste? We all have dominoes. And so when when, when they came out <laughs> That's like saying they brought you to McDonald's. You don't know McDonald's until you come to Atlanta McDonald's. Wait, well, you don't know Popeyes until you come to New Orleans Popeyes. That's, That's very different. different. <laughs> McDonald's didn't start in Georgia. That is so <laughs> fucking. That, that is not that the is same different. at <laughs> all. But yo, what I love about Thanksgiving also is these Thanksgiving with Black Families memes. Oh, oh son, they're amazing. Yeah. They, are, they just rule the world, son. Because I'm looking at oh. me right now. But once to Georgia though. But I do expect anything peach related to be the best. Coming yeah. from a, a spot that got like three peach tree peach streets. Everything. You hear me? Y'all peach. Like, I, that's y'all state fucking fruit. Right. Which y'all want to talk about it about everything. So, if there was like some Georgia peach thing in New Orleans and there was like some restaurant about peaches and shit, <laughs> when I get to Georgia, nigga, y'all better have the best peach, whatever the fuck. So, <laughs> so, when they came down here to New Orleans for yesterday's, for yesterday's game with Atlanta versus New Orleans down here, and I'll talk about them on the sports section. Will is like, I'm going to give them a I taste. I watched the first half of that game. Yeah. I watched it up to halftime. I was like, what? Well, the, 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 the Petty New Orleans. No, New Orleans. And then you got to watch it. I mean, I was about, I was about a girl. And we could get to that. But like, I watched. And the thing is, I want to watch the rest. Because, you know, I'm going to be watching football. But the thing is, I grew up a Saints fan. That's what me and my grandpa used to do. We used to watch the Saints together. And it always made me think of my grandpa when I watch Saints games. That's probably in all the NFL shit. If I'm going to watch anything, it will be a Saints game. And then looking at their offense right now. But we're going to get to that. What you saying, my nigga? Uh, we definitely going to get to that. But, um,. So what I was saying, oh yeah, so like uh The Taste of New Orleans. Yeah, it takes New Orleans. So so not only do like like they come in for the Saints game, this boy Well man, he he from Atlanta? No, Willie. No, the person who came to get the taste of New Orleans. Yeah, they they came from Atlanta to come to oh. the, So so Willie <laughs> Willie said, instead of doing Thanksgiving food, I'm gonna hit you with a taste of New Orleans. Right. And gave them red beans and rice, um greens. Uh, chicken and sausage jumbo live. Wow, so you better say something inherently New Orleans, dog. You just say some southern shit with no, red beans and greens. Red beans and rice? Red beans and rice is a southern thing, but we just made it, you know, we make it a thing here for our Mondays. But eat red beans and rice other places, my nigga. Yeah, I, it don't taste like here. Nah, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. But you gave, you gave me New Orleans style red yeah, beans and rice. I feel yeah, it. Like, uh, uh, Cre uh, Creole etouffee. Um... He gave he kept it generic, but also the hot dog and nachos just made it by regular. And this is like like hot, his own chili with uh with the, the with the hot dogs and shit. Like so, his own yeah. his own chili with the nachos and cheese. Um, and well, I think he's trying to say is, and even when we do what y'all do, we do it better. Right, right, oh, we right. Do it well, well, we'll still keep it, we'll we'll keep it, it generic for, for, for y'all because you know what I'm saying. But even your generic, right, is generic is homemade. We not even gonna generically get you Domino's and get this from a Seven Eleven. We gonna we gonna cook this chili ourselves, right? And melt this cheese ourselves. Yes. And we yes. gonna have the hot dog buns <laughs> toasted. And then, oh, then there was gumbo. You lucky ain't no Hawaiian bread. And then you know? and then, then and then there was gumbo. And then, and then there was gumbo. On the <laughs> to top it all off. And then there was gumbo. Nigga finished off with uh, hot tamales. And, and like, dog, no, no, like, that no. was. And then the thing is, he wanted to have shrimp and grits, but like, he had, like, it was too much already. Damn, that's bougie. Dog, he, he, dog, he was like, this is the taste of New Orleans, dog. 
the fucking Atlanta, I think them Atlanta people was a little petty because they didn't even eat it because they were so mad, dog. They, they, they was like, dog. I mean, I the Falcons got, got, got their asses, asses man. Whipped so they got their asses handed to them. We're not talking about that. We're like, all right, but dog. I'm trying to eat that food. But you know you really want to. So, no. Yeah, he can't help it. Smell too good. Let me let me show you, son, because that's what I want to show you. This this is where I would. Here you go. He won't, he won't show why why you showing us things and the people listening they can't even hear nothing? I don't because I want you to like, see nothing. Damn, I was damn. You're right. Y'all yeah, hear is music, random music. I got that shit like a buffet. Ooh. They I just want y'all to verify that what y'all said is true. So we from New Orleans. <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying like that. What I said, like my word is my word. My nigga, I'm like, what nobody said you was lying. What you telling me? Lying? Don't be so fucking insecure. God, nah, ain't insecure. I'm just saying. Look at this shit. This shit look good. Yeah, man. Anything else, sir? Oh, yeah, man. Make sure you fucking bake your turkey for ten to thirteen hours. Unless you like fried turkey, which is also amazing. Unless you like fried turkey, which, yeah, it's fucking I love fried astounding. turkey. Even though I'm more of a ham person uh-huh. like for, for Thanksgiving, I love fried turkeys. Some of my Indeed. fried turkey Likewise. does tickle my fancy. Yeah, it's, it's really great. I always wanted to do one just like personally just to eat a whole fried turkey because I, I would just do some shit like that. But if you do uh, roast your turkeys, do them for 10 to 13 hours because turkey dries really easily. So you got to slow cook that bitch for hours to like in that juice. You understand me? And, um... What else? Any other tips? Somebody told me that funny enough that a uh, Popeye's fried turkey hits like yeah, a motherfucker. Yeah, it does. It does. That's the one right. I had. Word. God, Nigga told me kill cause, yourself. Because the fried dude. turkeys I've had have always been like, you know, some cat that knew how to do that shit, that did that shit himself. Yeah, yeah. But uh, nah, right. nigga I said that Popeye's one one's time. the truth. Damn, and, that bitch and, and, and that's why dog. Popeye's in New Orleans is different it's than all different. you other motherfuckers. Fuck your Popeye's. Fuck your Popeye's. For real. For real though. For real though. We don't like it. We ain't never even been there, but we just don't like it. Nigga, I've been to enough. No, they don't like it. So that's how we know we don't like it. There's Nigga. a there's an airport. I want to say it's uh, fuck. It's not Las Vegas. It might be. L.A. N- it might be L.A. Maybe, but they got a Popeyes in one of these airports that I've been to recently, and like their Popeye sign was green. I did not trust it. I was ah, so scared. I, I think that's San Francisco. Like, I wouldn't trust Popeyes at an it, airport anyway. It might anyway. be Frisco. I hear Frisco, dog. Yeah, because I think we, we might have seen that shit. Like, yeah, what is this? We saw that shit when we were for the first yeah. time. Yeah. Niggas said, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah it's it's Frisco. Green fucking sign, bitch. Said, what the fuck is this? What is this? I was scared. I'm not trusting. Really scared. I'm not trusting airport Popeyes. No, don't. First I of all, I'm, I'm, Only I have Popeyes. First of all, don't eat Popeyes unless it's in New Orleans. Sorry, y'all. Facts, number one. Air man, if you're from New Orleans, you really do taste the difference. I used to think that was a myth. Yeah, no. People used to say that shit. And I'm like, man, y'all tripping. Right. Blah, 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 blah. No. And then I went and I was like, wait, it is different. It's different, son. It's different. You know what I mean? Now, you most likely grew up eating your Popeyes then. Y'all used to have the fuck y'all Popeyes teas. But, but if y'all ever, Popeyes. I would challenge anybody listening to this that's not from New Orleans. Whenever, if if ever you take a trip here, you feel me? There's many, many, many places to eat. Go to a Popeyes though. But go to a Popeyes as well, because I won't even. I won't tell you to come here and just eat Popeyes. That's stupid. We no, got but too, I challenge you. We got right. too many amazing places. To eat. We're known for our food. You already know that already. Yeah. But I challenge you to check. To right. Put your Popeyes. I would take the Popeyes. Pepsi challenge with our Popeyes versus anyone. Dog. And only Popeyes. Yeah, yeah I mean, y'all might have a better Chick Fil A or some shit. Yeah, but we ain't talking, but about, we ain't talking about that. Shit. No, we talking about Popeyes. Popeyes. I'm talking about Popeyes. Popeyes, nigga. Yeah, man. Fuck yeah. your Popeyes. But uh, yeah, man. I went to uh, J Steel Peoples. They had, you know, all the same shit that y'all had, basically. Like, amazing gumbo, mm-hmm. ham stuffing. Had all these fucking desserts, pies right. of all kinds, Burlington cakes of shit. all kinds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they good. They did everything. <laughs> I mean, they did. <laughs> Boy, that was so good. Lord, <laughs> dying, son. I couldn't get no. Take home place because those whores ate it all. They ate everything this year. Because, like, they was bringing guests and shit this time, too. I'm like, man, come on, fuck. Who the fuck is y'all, man? <laughs> Who is this? But I'm sorry, yeah. And that's how, niggas be, that's how niggas be feeling, son. Yeah, dog. But, uh, but, like, yeah, dog. Because <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, different, it's different from when, like, you know, somebody brought a person or someone brought their girlfriend or Yeah, boyfriend, boyfriend and girlfriend's not But when standing. someone brings random niggas. Random? Yeah, it's like. It's like, and then multiple random niggas. You yeah. always be like, well, who, who are these people? Who this? Who this? About to eat my food. 
Because, uh, but like, yeah, though, she had like all the great things and things. Because uh, well, for me, for Thanksgiving, it's much like what Joe said, man. Uh, like, for me, it was like after Katrina, my whole everything changed as far as mm -hmm. family things, specifically Thanksgiving. Because Thanksgiving used to always be by my grandma's house, by my grandparents' house. And that was the thing, like, all, you know, all the family, we, like, no matter what, you can talk to your family in like a year, you're going to know, you're going to get up with them. By and grandma house, house. Mm -hmm. but Thanksgiving, you feel that's me? So, so it's just in it. Was, I like that's that's one thing. That's one of the main things I missed that Katrina I, could never be restored because after after Katrina, my grandparents didn't want to have to deal with another hurricane evacuation. They moved to Texas, mm -hmm. and moving to Texas did something to them. Like I feel like I feel like Grandpa might not necessarily still be living if Katrina didn't happen, but I feel like he'd have lived longer. Mm -hmm. Than he did if Katrina didn't happen because it did something to their self esteem, it did something to their mental, just, and it also yeah, did a, a, a big fracture to the family, dog. So when I mean, that, that, was, that was their second hurricane, they went through Betsy before. I mean, they went through many like scares I'm about, I'm and everything about, else. That's to that level, like of flooding the whole area. But it's not even just that, it's just not wanting to have no. to go through the fear and old age. They weren't old when Betsy happened, you know what I mean? Being an older person and knowing that I'm in my, I'm in my 70s and now I gotta rush out of here, agree. I don't have to deal with having to do that. Yeah, no, again, I agree, that's agree, what they agree. were on. Cause like as young but people, I, I, but I think that like having a second scare does put a play on you too. It's like the first one you was young, you handle it, but the second nah, one, nah, nigga, no, no, I'm not gonna take that because in context, we have a whole culture of hurricanes coming and we don't believe them. That's what that yeah, was the culture that's since the Betsy. That's the thing. That's what fucked up a lot of people. No one wanted to leave because they we never hear. We always up get to hurricanes. Yeah, we stand, that's the perfect way to put it. We had a we full culture of standing up to the hurricanes. Only one that made a nigga kind of almost leave was George. Yeah, you feel me? So it was like as as for them. They, Grandpa never was about leaving. We almost didn't leave. You know My what I mean? My mama never be about, about, about leaving, dog. Yeah. She like, she don't want to leave unless that bitch damn near a fucking five, dog, and like a big five. Dude, it takes Outside, a lot. Man, she's like, man, fuck that hurricane. I'm so, like, mama, come on. So for the them, it wasn't, it wasn't even a scare. If anything, that was their first scare. And now they're 70. You to get your first hurricane, your true first hurricane scare at seventy, and you don't know if it's gonna happen again, and you're gonna be it's gonna be harder for you to leave and move. That's what got in your head, and they sold the old house, which blows me to this day. And things, none of the holidays have necessarily been the same. But like, my mom's is taking up like the Christmas mantle, but Thanksgiving, like every Thanksgiving since I've been on like Rando, either I'm gonna go buy one of my niggas, I'm gonna go buy whatever girl I'm dating, or like I remember when I was dating. Uh, a few times, like whoever, like we create our own Thanksgiving. I remember yeah. me and my ex Joe. We used to we used to do our own Thanksgivings. Da -da 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 -da. Me and Dees used to do our own Thanksgivings. So it's like we we I would have this thing where we'll buy the food, especially that y'all was on food stamps. Oh shit, mm -hmm. boy, that y'all was on yeah, food stamps. Thanksgiving was the shit, it's nigga. Lit. Woo! Yeah, yeah bro. Fried turkeys. I ain't looking at the turkeys like Nino Brown, nigga. And I'm not gonna lie, dog. Like. Some of those were my most favorite Thanksgivings. The ones where it's like me and my girl at the time we just. Be, did I cook what we felt like some of the things was like you know traditionals but cook what we felt and fellowship and anybody want to come through could get a plate and it's not necessarily all the you know we have tacos one year as well you know what I mean or whatever and I was just you know I, uh, it ain't really was, necessarily about what you eat it's about the things that's given and the food like the food you make is the things that I, I think you break bread with I guess and that's when I learned I wasn't that into turkey no more because you know you grew up all the years, turkey, yeah. turkey, 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 turkey. When I got to do my own Thanksgiving, I was like, I don't feel like doing a turkey. I want to do a ham. Yeah. And ever since then, it was like, man, I'd rather the fucking ham, son. So honestly, I, you grow. this is my opinion. I believe ham is more only for Christmas than anything else. I, I feel like you know. Yeah, we do ham mostly for Christmas. We always did ham and turkey for Thanksgiving. We did. Like, I had ham and turkey for Thanksgiving. We but did gumbo was, mostly was for Christmas than Thanksgiving. We gumbo. do gumbo both. and turkey for a lot Thanksgiving. Yeah, as it get colder though. Over yeah. a gumbo and ham for Christmas. We had duck for Christmas some years. I Christmas was a duck. funny thing. Duck, yeah, duck. I, but see, duck doesn't surprise me for Christmas. Um, and that's the thing too. I we had turkey for Christmas some years too. Like it's when a I think Christmas about it, goose. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> to me, Christmas that's specifically. I wanted, dog. Christmas goose though, like on on the fucking Christmas story. A goose, the biggest goose in all of London. Like, I just want to know what a roasted goose tastes tastes like. Tastes just, like a duck. It sounds amazing. You've had it before. I've had a goose before. Wow! Yeah. At somebody's like party or something. Damn. I mean, my people didn't cook it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, interesting. But yeah, it, it tastes like a duck. Wow. It tastes like a good ass duck. That's amazing. It's a good ass duck. Try some cool. goose. You feel me? But um, what I'm about to say, um, I don't think Christmas in general, if you go across the country, has the same, these are the foods that we eat. 
that Thanksgiving has. You know what I'm saying? I think we could go to different regions and say, what you eat for Christmas? Or what you eat for say, Christmas? Man, as soon as you go into white culture, it's fucking just blows shit out, out of fucking water. As well, as well. But even All different right. black cultures because I remember um, I remember one Georgia, uh, me and Mike. Mike always loves this Christmas because we was in Georgia for Christmas and you like we normally do from with moms and such and moms do different, who different dishes for Christmas because like she always invite people. But I remember we went Two, um, that's why I probably thought of tacos because I remember we uh, he we snowed that year. That's another reason why you always talk about it. But um, we went to uh, who was this? It was my ex's uh, people, my ex people, and uh, they had a whole Mexican themed Christmas, like but Christmas food Mexican theme. But they still had you know they even had the tree being different. And I was like whoa, like <laughs> but you could really do whatever the fuck you want for Christmas, honestly. Yeah, yeah, for real. As long as you keep it merry. <laughs> keep as long as you keep it merry, ho. I had a friend of mine, she Jewish, and uh, she she said uh, she get annoyed when people ask her about Christmas things. And she's like, dog, y'all not respecting my, my Hanukkah, so why the fuck y'all expecting me to be super jolly for your Christmas? Like, you know what I mean? What, 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 what you talking about? Right. I mean, because this is America. Yeah. It's America. We're all about that Christian living, which we going to get to for the question of the day. Shouts out to Ralph. This is Christmas, nigga. And Christmas in America? In America. Like, all right, we like, listen. You ain't gonna be the majority, all right? We ain't about to celebrate Hanukkah everywhere, cause Ooh. everybody ain't Jewish. But you all acknowledged, and in your culture that we can't even partake in, cause you can partake in Christmas, Christian or not, you can partake in Christmas, cause at this point it ain't even about Jesus. It's about Santa Claus and the gift of giving. I mean, I think they still do to a degree because it's almost like a lot of these things don't mean what they did. That's gonna make get pissed off about the Fourth of July or Thanksgiving because to me, like, <clears throat> I'll be like, how could you eat some fellowship on the genocide of Native Americans? I'm like, you average black people, off, son. yeah, right. They're not for same for Fourth of July. What now? Our independence. You average I'm black sorry. people is not thinking I'm about not, pilgrims, Indians, or slaves. Say, son, we got a day off to kick it with our family. That's right, all no, we care we about. Barbecue and then we're seeing some folk. Bro, that's all we care about. But like, Thanks, straight Thanksgiving up, Thanksgiving is just a word to describe the day. They right. don't give right. They don't give Juneteenth off. Exactly. <laughs> you gonna give me some Juneteenth off good? Right. right. You know, you know what I mean? If I did the whole month of February off. Something, up, something, 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 some little something, 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 something. You hear me? None of that? All right, fuck All right. you. And your, right. <laughs> and your Popeyes. And your Popeyes. And your Popeyes. You hear me? <laughs> But man, let's get to the show, man. We've been talking all this shit. We talking buku shit. We ain't even start up yet. Welcome, so welcome. we didn't say our names or nothing. We didn't say nothing. nothing. We just been talking about Thanksgiving and it's shit, long nigga. As fucking preamble. Yeah, man. So uh, welcome to the Fly with Bats podcast episode sixty nine. Is really sixty nine? Sixty nine, eight. Sixty nine, side eight. Yeah. Oh, lordy, lordy. Freakiest episode to date. Everybody <laughs> won't be. So that the guy, Mark Bats Bradford. You can find me on all your social media platforms at. <laughs> Don't die hitting that blunt. Once ambulance? again, you know, sponsored by the Potty Mouth Pothead Podcasters, you know. Yeah. We're pot friendly. We potty mouth friendly. It's his first day smoking. It's all right. <laughs> Help Boy, just... fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga got himself together just for that. I took the air down the wrong way. <clears throat> but yeah, this is that actor guy, Martin Bass Bradford. You can find me on Facebook as Martin Bass Bradford, but on your other social media platforms at Mr. Bat. Spell it, Mr. Outer. You ain't gonna find me. And as usual, well, I'm here with my brothers. What's up, bitch ass <laughs> niggas and bitch ass bitches? You hear me? This your boy D Mac. And some of you bitch ass niggas are bitch ass bitches. Exact. That's exactly what the fuck I meant. But yeah, it's your boy DMac, and you can follow me on Instagram at FrenchBread.Kid, you heard me? And you can make sure you follow my clothing line at your dig 504 Yeah, Dig! <laughs> bitch, when you see the shit I'm about to drop on these bitch-ass bitches, it's going to be amazing. And uh, yeah, I'm here for 69. Man, my nose burning. Posse Wine, it's your boy Alpha Joe, fresh out of the gumbo, still deep in the room. And if you're out in the streets and you're looking for me, you can find me on IG Alpha Joe, no E. Oh, we trying to have like Wow, why he upgraded and stuff, not doing vocal runs and he stuff. He's doing runs yeah. and shit on him. That's for you, Lamar. That's how much I got it now. I can Michael Jackson that shit if I want to. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, all right. All Bitch. right. 69, <laughs> side A for the A hole. So, yeah, man, for 69, <clears throat> side A, man, we usually Ooh. get. We get down to the starter section, man. That's when we get into the highlights and such that's been going on on the social medias and in the news, man. Lightweight, lightweight, lightweight. After the starter section, for people that always want to know, the starter section is if you open up a menu and such, you're going to see, sometimes they call it appetizers, the what? The starters. So that's all it is, man. And you might be the type of person that eats a lot of starters. And some people only eat starters. You know? Straight up, nigga. Yes. Look at your pockets, <laughs> and Depend upon your pockets, man. But after the starter section, man, we get into that bats. Nerd, nerd out, out moment. Well, niggas get the nerd out on entertainment, on acting, on comics, on whatever the fuck niggas feel like nerd out about. Mm -hmm. After that nerd out moment, we get into that Joe Sports Corner. 
We're talking about sports. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, <so> sportsman. Yeah. <laughs> the testosterone. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. The testosterone is thick with this one. Then we sports, got yeah. Then we got a question of the day that's brought to us this week by the On The Lake Podcast. Hey, And after that, man, we be like, you know, holla, holla, go on to side B. For that 69 side B. For that 69 side B. You feel me? But, you know, we're not on side B right now. We on side A right now. So we jam, we jam. Let's get into that. Oh, no, we got to get to the scroll. We ain't shouting nobody out. Oh, I have a scroll here. You know, we all out of sorts. So uh, starting off in the scroll is... The Your Authority Podcast with Marty and the Arrogant Observer. The Misbelief Radio Show Podcast with DC Paul, Oshun, Malik the Historical Geek, and Fat Girl Nola, Jay Steele, as well as us. The We'll Figure This Out Podcast with Jay Skills, Lito the God, and Kiki. Four Misses of the Mic Podcast, Therapy Noir Podcast, Sugar, Sass, and Sarcasm Podcast, Hip Hop Nerd Podcast, 50420 Podcast, The Fuck What You Heard Podcast, Metal Hand of God Podcast, Black Guys Next Door Podcast, No Dope on Sundays Podcast, Teapot Podcast, Talk Brothers Podcast, Home Video Hustle Podcast, and the... Damn. And all the podcasts across the nation that we haven't gotten to yet. But there's one I was adding, man. It's the one that uh, decent people starting. The Millennial. Go go to her page on Instagram. It's the Millennial. Arsenio. Who page? Uh, Deezer Pop. Deezer Pop? I think they yeah, finally sure. put out an episode. So I'm like, if you're going to put out an episode, you hear me? I, I shout your podcast out because we like to keep oh, it yeah, on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, go to what she tagged in. That's that uh, button right there. This one? No, this one right here, right there. This yep. one? Yep. Okay. And then go right here. I right need to see the here. name of it. The Living Millennial Podcast. There we go. The Living Millennial. We're going to add y'all to the scroll. The Living Millennial Podcast. Awesome. But like, yeah, that's all the podcasts that's around the world that we that we tune into, know something about and all that, all that, that, man. So check them out. Once again, like, share, subscribe, and comment on for us. Leave us five stars. Hit us up at flywithbats at gmail.com because we want you to be part of the conversation. You feel me? But without further ado, I, I think that's all we got for the, for the preamble. I think we've been preambling enough. Let's get to that starter section, man. Let's do it. Lying about how much you have made, rumors and shit that you handmade. Would you buy this if I sold that? Hey, what the hell is my soul at? The American need for American green is America's greed. That's the American dream. Black America too busy chasing white American dreams. But we sleep, so let's everybody eat and repeat. Where the fuck the cheese? Where the mozzarella at? Tell me where it be. So one of the biggest stories going on right now in these news here is that that Christian missionary dude that oh, yeah. got his ass got going trying to spread the word of God to some indigenous people who are not fucking with that man because they got very few islands out here that still have you know people that have no no contact with 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 nothing modern you know what yeah. I mean they they've been sticking with since been sticking with their old customs and they don't want no outsiders. None of that shit coming on their land. It's it's so ironic that it happened on Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? Like this this this. I think it happened before Thanksgiving. It was like the day before. They said we heard that story. Yeah, it was the day before. That's why I niggas joked out. Son, it, was, it happened Wednesday, and Thanksgiving was the next day. And I was like, whoa. His good intentions <laughs> paved his road to the hell. The spirits. Of that land. The spirits is like no. <laughs> Ralph from the Underlay podcast is gonna pass by briefly. I mean, I'm I'm not tripping. Let it come through. Yeah, yeah. She, she don't accept this the question of the day, but but you know, but I mean. Rest in peace, you know, like, you hate to hear about people getting, you know, killed, you know, it's still kind of shitty, but at the same time, it's mind like, business, bitch. the world needs to mind its business when it comes down to these fucking remote island tribes, dude, like, John Allen Chow is his name, he was Allen in his Chow. 20s, was floating in a kayak off a remote island in the Adamant Sea, he's about to set foot on, and what's the, in India, and this thing is too, but everybody kept telling this man, don't do it. Everybody, they got laws, they got like rules, get the shit. People say, don't do it, don't go over there, don't well, go over there, don't go over there. So it's like, my nigga. This is the funny thing about, well, you want, you want to keep reading? Uh, what you uh, about to say? Well, the seven niggas that, 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 got, that were fishermen and got charged with crime and taking his money. I think them niggas, because the thing is, this ain't, he ain't the first death that happened before. I think these niggas been selling niggas that kind of game. They been kind of running that game of like, we take your money, you take our boat, you go die, we get our boat back. <laughs> 
But that's not taking away from people. Everybody already already knew, like on that land in that area, well, yeah, like they, don't go no, fucking it, with them it was, people. It was, it and it, people was telling this man don't but, go fucking with them people. At one point, it was against the law to go there, but then it, just recently, since August, it became legal to go there. Don't matter. Now I ain't. Yeah, I'm still saying what I'm on. This, this, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. In his, I guess, in his mind, that thought gave him merit that it was it, it was legal for him to go there. Therefore, if anything would happen to him, he'll legally be safe. Still stupid. It still was stu- I'm not saying it was stupid. Me? It's very stupid. It's Duh. very stupid. So I don't know why we arguing. <laughs> no, 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 arguing. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, I'm just looking at his mindset Only of, like, why back. he could go against that, that, be that stupid about it. Because the law kind of backs him. I feel like on some real nigga shit... He been playing in his dog, and whether the law backed him or well, not, not, he's gonna yeah, try to do this gonna shit. Go. Yeah, Regardless, he's gonna be the hero. because either way it goes, whether the law backs you or not, nigga. The bottom line is people saying don't go there because they will kill you. Kill so you. whether the law makes this legal or whether the people, no matter what, that's the bottom line, nigga. Saying you gonna get murdered. You hear me? I don't give a fuck if it's legal to go someplace if you tell me I'm gonna get murdered off the dump. So the fact that he still had the audacity to go, this that's some straight fans. privilege shit, nigga. American privilege, thinking you invincible. This Some shit says, dog, this, this is an island inhabited by a small fucking tribe who who are known for having no. killed, killed, killed people just for stepping on the island shore. No. This ain't the first time we read this story, a story like this. With just these indigenous the people shore. murdering people for, as soon as you hit the shore. Bang, they shit out warning shots at first. Right. Warning shots for you turning around. A nigga on the boat saying, look. One is shot. You still got the nerve to step on they... St- mm. Because the power of Christ compels you. Me, oh, God. Hmm. Well, where is your Christ there to protect you? Is this your king? Is this your boy? Oh, he, he's with the king now. Oh, he's with him. <laughs> and them boys took him to the king. Yeah, bitch. But real talk, dog. It, it really uh, does show a lot of arrogance, ignorance, and privilege. Privilege. To, That's the three, uh, my nigga. That is the three. That's it. That's the three. For you to go on and think that you could buy your way to these fishermen's boats, and then after they after they, the first try you fail because they seen one of the shots, you come back and you take like you buy the boat and to go yourself. And before all that, my nigga, the arrogance that the people even want your religion. Nope. The people been good here, want nobody coming through. That's what the arrogance. That's you know? the arrogance of it. Like I was like, dog, you think your religion is it's so gonna powerful? Save, right, it's gonna right. stop a fucking six thousand year tribe. That's you know me with the whole <laughs> shit. With this <laughs> whole shit. Thousand years. Oh, oh my come god. On. They don't care about technology. They don't care about no money. They don't care. They don't even understand what that book means, dog. But they don't even have a language. Ooh. There, there's villages around them that surround them that don't speak their language. And they're like way closer than you could ever be. Tell it. You Tell know what I'm saying? It, nigga, come on. So for you to the, the audacity. Yo, the whole purpose of your trip started fucked. Fucked and up. And the Asian caucasity. <laughs> the Asian caucasity. I would have respected it more if he'd have went there with a fucking rifle or something. Right. I don't it at least you'd have been like, like not bitch, fucking bitch, stupid. Uh, but why would you go there? They gonna but then, but, kill but you. then why go with a rifle if you're going to preach Christianity? Of course. Of so course. You, I'm just saying. Don't go. Like, you know. You have to. Listen, no, listen, bro. This thing, this happened throughout time. People have been trying to go on this island. Like in the 1960s, these Britons ca- captured six of these fucking people from the tribe. But the people died off instantly, instantly because they weren't immune to none of the fucking diseases around. Right. And fucked them up. Like common colds was easily killable. And that's that's some pilgrim shit. You know what I'm saying? That's some pilgrim but, shit. But the thing is, shit. but you didn't even try to ca- These niggas in the 1960s trying to capture you. Trying to capture you. Son. Why you just can't let people be? These people really have no meanings to deal with you. And there's only, and there's only a few exist. of them in the world. Because there's some in India, there's some in, there's some in other parts of Africa. You know, there's, there's Actually, this one is not really India. Like, India takes control of it, but it's like uh, the descendants of the last African tribe. Like, this is like... like the, I know these is black people, but what I'm saying is it's just not only in that area. You know what I'm saying? It's in different... There's, there's different... Even in Australia, there's different parts of the world. They have just these random indigenous yeah. groups that have, they have not been trifled with and won't let you on their shit. And mm. in, in the small... It's in pocket... Pocket parts of the con- of these specific continents. Mm-hmm. I don't think we have none in North America, though. Mm-mm. No, the closest right tribal thing that we kind of have that's with the indigenous kind of like weird is like the Amish people. Like <laughs> they don't make the same. They be on their <laughs> 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 you know, so like, 
world. That's a whole other species of white man. You know what I'm saying? That is a whole other world. Though. That's a whole other fucking world. 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 We don't you know buy butter, we churn it. We churn butter. I did not ever think about it in we that, in that manner. Tea. I do. Wow. They're crazy. It's not to the same degree as the indigenous people. No, no, no. But no, it no. is definitely the same concept. Yeah. Of uh, we are no, our no, own no. We're our own thing. We are not advancing with y'all. Yeah. We are with what computers are. But we don't fuck with it. that. We don't fuck with mm-hmm. it. Instead of niggas that don't even know what a computer is, can speak it. We speak English, but an old timey English. Damn, it's funny. It's not to the same degree, but it's still funny as fuck. It dog. is very funny, dog. Some horse and buggy motherfuckers. Daughter, why are you in a car? Man, don't drive. He horse rides and he eats straw. I don't know how do Irish people talk. I'm about to say, is that how they talk? I don't know. They biz grow funny. I mean, they just white people to me. It was but a misplaced adventure. I, fuck y'all. I'm just, I'm just tripping. Like, I'm, where, where I'm, the Amish people come from? America. Mm-hmm. That's American thing. Yeah. Yeah. Are you serious? These people that didn't want to keep going. They did because it's back to Christian shit. That yeah. So it's like stupid. a religious. It's thing a religious too. deal yeah. with them. They feel like in their their version of Christianity and such that um some of the things like you know how some of the things we say um the Bible say you shouldn't do don't wear like white whites and stuff whatever the fuck linen and cotton they they stick to a lot of Old Testamenty ass things. Yeah. And that's, and that's, that's like what's something spawned. about like there's some something about. Uh, they're not supposed to use like technology and electricity and things Some, like that. It's like it's got to be purely off of the land. Like. It's almost a cult. It is a cult. It's it's very very near near to a cult. <laughs> it's just it a really very is. accepted cult. It's an accepted American cult. Yeah, because there are TV shows about it, dude. But it's interesting when the people get out of that shit. Cause that's the that, that's I never I don't be watching those shows, but I've seen like trailers for like seeing them Amish people, seeing them like some people leave. Some people leave. Yeah. 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 Like when they, when they see what's out there and shit, that's nigga be like, look, man. What is this? A better world? Right. What you mean there's a machine that can dry and wash my clothes? Wow. <laughs> what's the twenty first century? Oh, oh, okay. You hear me? So it's, it's, it's trippy car. shit. But I, I will say this. I will go back to what you said originally, Joe, which is, dog. I know both you and D said this, which is a life loss is still fucked up. Mm-hmm. But when you put all that on top of it, it's like, my nigga, it's harder for me to give you as much of a yeah, weeping like, anything. When say it's like, son, 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 you fought to die. <laughs> right. You right. fought say to son, get that fate. You committed suicide. Yeah. You, right. like you stuck, fought for that suicide, nigga. You like stuck up, your you head for it, into the lion's mouth. So therefore, yeah. like, a life loss... Is is a life lost, but dog, you gave your life away. Stupidity. Stu- you, stu- stupid. You ate a Tide Pod, homie. You didn't have right. You ate a Tide Pod. So let's move on to the next thing. Takashi six nine already out of jail. So check this out. Ratted. So check this out. Ratted dog. So for the people that don't know, Takashi six nine all in the same week he was arrested with Not seven the same week now. This no him getting him getting out him going in going to G- Gen Pop going to the feds and then getting out happened in the same week. That's what I'm saying, but uh, but I'm just saying the back. I'm just saying the reason with the jail. This nigga had like 17 counts of racketeering, yeah, uh-uh. 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 fucking murder, the, 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 the street calling murder hits, the calling hits. Know. The streets. He was facing know. life. They said one story came out that said um he tried to put his entire bank account 1.7 mil dude up to get him out because you know the niggas was fucking with his ass. His old no, soft no, looking tell you, long no, hair. I just saw something recently said that they got this nigga on tape putting his Chief out Keith. on on niggas. Chief Keep people. Chief Keep's cousin. Or yeah, something yeah, like yeah. That. I was like, no, nigga, you. I gotta see the tape. Rude dog. I gotta see that tape. But he got out somehow. But, somehow, somewhere he got out. In oh, a week. you know how but, he got out. But not the money to pay. I knew when they hit the headlines that he was putting General Pop. He won't go last. He was going. He's gonna crack. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't General Pop, dog. You a star. That's number one. So nigga about to, to hold you out for your money for protection. You and you talk shit. You, know you in Gen Pop with rainbow hair. And you talk shit. And you talk mad, mad cash money. Mad shit. Uh uh-uh, uh. Cash dog. money. Time to pay up. This nigga done crack though, son. Like I guarantee he's crack. No, no, no. He went to General Pop and that was a rap. But the thing is, for you to rent that high, you know what I'm saying. You 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 probably ain't gonna, you you probably gonna be around too much longer. Hmm. No, e- either that not. or, or they make uh, him disappear. Gonna be in witness protection. Either that or some connections are, are really made with you. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. I don't think he's made like that. Who knows? Like Who that boy, knows? True. I'm just saying. His big brother, quote unquote. Like that boy uh, uh, said. That boy said uh, in his raps, and this is a true rap lyrics. All my niggas killers, and I'm a fucking killer too. Oh, he's not saying that anymore. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was just pretending. All that was right. lies, guys. That nigga you say, I was pretending. pretending. Hey, bro, you gotta say what you gotta say to get out of general pop. <laughs> you like, you said right, you're going to jail. Get out of jail. All that, son. They don't want to take one seven for one point seven. 
What else can I do? Can I tap dance? I am not really a gangster. I'm not a gangster. I am not a gangster. Oh, These yeah, tattoos are Hindu. Records, These are Hindu. So I'm saying, they be that real that you say, Joe YZ, YZ, all of a sudden say he ain't a gangster, the real gang. I ain't seen murder saying that all of a sudden. Right, nigga, I, 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 like I ain't seen mystical saying that going to jail. I, I see, we see a lot of real niggas go to jail that don't hide behind the, I'm not a real gangster right. Monica like to get out. It's, it was all an act. Nah. All, all an act? Nah. He said all an act. Real niggas ain't fucking Number one. Number one. Number one. I don't know. I don't have the answers. <laughs> See, Murder is a real ass like killer ass nigga. He did that shit. You say like I don't have the answers. Um, uh, niggas from the, from my era, from from yours to mine, in the, in the nineties up to the early two thousands, dog. Them niggas were real niggas, dog. Them niggas took charges for most for the most part that, that we knew. I can't really speak for the niggas in the in the two thousand, the mid to late two thousands. I'm just saying when you tell us that he said some real gangster shit and this is all facts that he's saying he's a killer, blah 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 I, blah. Thing is, and the thing then is, we have this supposed real ass nigga who supposedly kill, think, killers that we know that some real niggas don't hide. They get out of jail another way. I'm just saying they don't I'm come, just, come I'm, I'm quick, just, let fast. The same day, I'm not a real gangster. I was pretending. But, Never but, seen but, that happen. So I can't is, give him real nigga strikes. If you're a real killer, I'll start to think in my mind because I thought about that and I was like, well, what? Let me think of another way. If, if I was a real killer and I thought about, well, I need to tell these niggas anything to get out. A real killer wouldn't put in his raps, Joe. <sighs> Some people are stupid like that, though. And then that same nigga who got a code ain't going to tell. That's what I'm saying. It don't match up and don't align with what's always been known to be G shit. You hear me? It's either I mean, don't speak on what you did because that's the real code. Nigga, don't speak. nigga lying to the feds trying to get out of jail. Man, no, no. You but just, nigga still really doing it. I don't believe Takashi did none of that shit. Nah, dog. Right, you hear me? Your whole rap shit is Because this ain't the question. first time he said that. When the motherfuckers was coming to fucking try to kill him, he said something similar. Talking about I just be trolling. That was the first time he said something like that. He said I just be trolling, man. I don't really da 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 After niggas tried to find him, he kept on running and tried to give excuses for running. All kind of shit that's become a suspect that got to the point where I just been said he a character. You hear me? That's why when he said I've been being pretending to be a gangster, I'm like, oh yeah, you better say that when you said you be trolling. It's not new information. I'm just saying when you try to tell me he's a gangster now, Joe, the I survey I says I not the father. <laughs> you feel say, me? Son, when you can't hold your own in general pop, because Wayne could have snitched. Wayne did his time. Bushy did his time. Most people, yeah, I, tell me time. somebody who's ever done this. Um, whole niggas. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You gotta give at least a year whole nigga. And it don't take no real nigga to shoot nobody. I'm sorry. He ain't got the code. But they got niggas that never murk that got the code. It do take a real right. nigga to, to do that time on your on, on your head, though. My nigga. And Wayne did, what, two years, I think? I'm not, I don't, I'm not don't. I'm not hating if he got to connect to get his ass out of this situation. I'm saying, dog, it's all in how you conduct yourself. Right. You feel me? You ain't, even, if, you got, if you got ways to get out, even if you decide to snitch, you hear me? You don't come... To get this sympathy, but hey guys, they not really a You know what's funny, dog? I'm like, come on, son, hold remember, your head better, dog. You remember that kid, TK, that uh, bitch, uh, what he said, uh, I ain't do the race. No, said I ain't do the case, bitch. I did the race. Rob a nigga, shoot. Remember that song that came out? No, say what's oh, his name? Damn, his name was TK. TK. Nah, this, I don't know, know that this is. person. Oh man, dog. I, if I shoot a song, you probably remember from the tune of it. But this nigga was like another young nigga rapping, but this nigga actually like committed a real crime. Ran away from doing the case, did a whole video about the fucking case in a whole nother state about it, dog, and the song went fucking viral. Been platinum. But what about him? Is he in jail currently? Yes. The <laughs> end. Again, <laughs> come on, come but on. I, 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 I'm about to say like, 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 dog. If you gonna be a real nigga like in a young age, dog, I ain't saying to even do that, but that was that nigga didn't even snitch. He did the whole thing about how like, he made a song about how he, he really did this. Like, he really did that, dog. That shit was ignorant to you me. You went viral, but now you in jail, so it's like you can't even... He's en- gonna go to jail regardless. En- enjoy what you can garner from going viral. It's nah, like- because like they use that viral thing as like some music shit to get him out. Like He was trying to like do some of his music and this, and he's on a way to making better changes with his life. Yeah, that's always the case when you get caught. I stood by this, man. Like, my nigga, I ain't about... Because some people was like, man, some of y'all celebrating a, a, per, a successful person getting brought down. I'm like, say, say, say. Say, 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 say. I'm sorry, son. I'm not going to celebrate shit. But at the end of the day, if you have get to a point where you make a legitimate six figures legally. Right. Six figures legally, legitimately. You get to that space and you still want to play with the illegal world. You still want to be got it. I ain't got no sympathy if you get got. Especially if you dodged the bullet previously. 
This nigga's been on to jail before. Yeah, dodged dog. these bullets, and I'm you saying that for anybody that that anybody that get got on some illegal shit that got that real legal money. Now, now some niggas they front to y'all that they got money they don't have. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But some niggas really be having they life together, their life set together, and still won't play in that bullshit. Yes. So when they get brought down, especially if they dodged before, no sympathy. Whatever happens to you, yeah. happen to you. Yeah. I'm not about to say free nobody. And that's what get I hate about that's 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 what I hate about most niggas. Period. Most niggas want to be hard and gangsters so fucking bad, son. It's right. like, dog, you don't have to be like that, son. You don't. Like, most gangsters don't want to be gangsters. Dog. Most gangsters don't. The real ones do not want to be that, dog. That's why most of them look out but for like, real niggas. These niggas be so, like, they put mad effort and energy into always, like, seeming like a gangster, looking hard, being a fucking nigga in a room, you know what I'm saying? It's like, nigga, like... They got motherfuckers with two-parent households these days getting wrapped up in these gangs yeah. and this bullshit. And I just be like, bro, you, you didn't have to do that. You didn't and have now to do that. Get you're over doing yourself. that. You're creating problems for yourself that didn't even have to be there. And life right. is already hard enough. Like, you are throwing yourself on the actual radar, son, for no reason. So they say what this nigga was in, while in Central Brooklyn waiting for a bail hearing, members of the Trinitarios gang called the 22-year-old a bitch and vowed to cut him. Courthouse sources what? told Daily <laughs> News. Takashi Cowden failed doing a verbal onslaught. Uh, in an interview with TMZ, Takashi acknowledged that he was so scared in custody because other inmates tried to quote unquote kill me and slit my throat. If nothing else, the threats finally gave Takashi grounds for a temporary reprieve from custody. <laughs> a manhunting wow. judge initially denied him bail last week, ignoring his pleas that, among other things, he's the sole supporter of his mother and two year old daughter. The judge called him a flight risk mm -hmm. and said he had to remain in Rikers and Rikers until Texas. <laughs> York, son. <laughs> until Texas. He's supposed to have some kind of, some kind of pull. And as we talk, his most shit. Uh, Talking about he's the king of New York and he can't be touched. Takashi is was housed in a special unit used for inmates battling contagious illnesses or high-profile prisons in need for special protection. But by late Friday, the judge acknowledged a significant change in circumstances and allowed him to be released on a hundred and fifty thousand dollar bail. Now I am Ooh. mad that they did put that man in general population because the police know that man was gonna get fucked. As, like as the police, that was kind of a fucked up thing to do to put that man in general pop, knowing that man as a celebrity, number one, was gonna get fucked with. And it was, being his rap they was they was trying to crack him. Yep, yep. They trying to get inf information. They got to put put pressure on you. They gonna fucking stick you in that pot. Yep, yep. Exactly what he said. Yep. yep. It's the system, son. And they go. They know how right. to twerk it. They fucking know how to do it, dog. And, and, and real motherfuckers that deal with real ass gangsters will look straight through his ass and see he ain't right. Imagine old heads been in no, the game for like they twenty would, years. They would call that out like the moment uh, you walk in the room. They know how to get the a nigga you walk like in him. Room. I'm like nigga, nah, dog. You, mm -mm. you ain't fucking made of nothing. Scare his ass. He gonna talk. Right, right. <laughs> Boy, you just, I just see way tougher than you break. I, I break, I break exactly, I'm broken tougher. I'm broken tougher, right. nigga. I guess. Just go put him in general pop. That boy about to start making Chance the Rapper kind of music. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you get out, if you uh -huh. get out, dog. Uh -huh. That boy might be a Christian rapper. <laughs> He'll be a whole girl. He'll be a whole girl. He'll be a whole girl. He'll be a Fuck out of here, man. Boy, but him and D1 talking about. He said D1. Takashi says nine and D1. That's yeah, the that's the fucking 2019 that's gonna be album. It, son. That boy gonna get all the tattoos taken off his face. Yeah, his hair about to be one color. His boy face about to be smooth, smooth, smooth. Not a piece of fucking mark on I, In about a few years, we gonna be beefing with this nigga because he gonna probably try to take roles. Nigga, he probably about to try to be an actor now, son. He about to right. just go completely. Nah, he gonna start doing Christian plays and Christian. Plays. <laughs> he said Christian is inspired. Uh, what they call that inspiring films? Uh, that might be what they call them. The ones that's supposed to make you. Feel something. Yeah. It'll be lifetime famous. But let's get to the next thing, man. What else is going on? Did we talk about that pastor that uh that kicked out uh the transgender person? Or the yeah, person that... and how a massive hypocrite he is. Yeah, man. So this nigga here got a whole like you, you your your daughter lesbian mm -hmm. and you be cheating on your wife all the time. Now I think his oh, daughter this came out. What the fuck? His, yeah. his daughter being a lesbian, I don't think that necessarily reflects on him as a father. No, no, I'm not hating on him as a father. I'm saying if you're gonna sit out here and kick out a drag trans queen. a drag queen, but you ain't kicking out your daughter, which if you 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 it's she was she was she was there? Yo, I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know if his daughter goes to that church. Okay. But, but I doubt he, I don't know. But let's see. Let's see. He allowed his daughter. I, 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 I guess if he kicked him out, he probably don't understand his daughter. On, 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 but because even still, because I got, I guess what you could see is, um, he just has a problem with cross dressers. Yeah. And trans, which is still wrong. But maybe he don't got a problem with gays and lesbians. Maybe not. You know what I'm saying? I don't. As long, long as they dress. Like, I still like, feel like, like it's all hypocritical, been. and then you throw in the fact that you be having affairs. Yeah, it's totally. 
hypocritical one way or the other, you know. But it's always the fucking pastor to me, D Mac person. I mean, at the source, dog, like it, the, the whole, the whole negating the comments as you are, that the church is supposed to be, dog, supposed to be a freaking uh, what's the word I want to say? Right. A home, a place to put I, everybody to be to call home. I, I, I do understand. I do understand come as you are, but also you are as like, like a funeral, like drag is, is a performance outfit and service, you know what I'm saying? You gotta come. What if that's not for that person? Because some you know if you trans and that's just how you, you wanna we, identify we're not to talking the about trans, we're talking about drag queens, you know what I'm saying? We we didn't get the the, the bottom line on why that because the thing is that person had come there before dressed like that. So I feel like if you keep going to church like that, I feel like that's how you identify, that's probably how you always dress. If that's how you always dress and you decide to go to church and now your pastor telling you you can't come like this because you have to dress more like a boy and you feel like you identify as a woman, I mean, I mean your pastor doesn't have your place to be doing all that. I thing. can't say like what they identify because they didn't specify that in the article. All I can say is that like you know, it, from what I know, it's a drag queen, and if it's a drag queen, that takes the level of, of, of it being a job and, and you bring in like your your job work. Church. Every drag yeah. queen ain't a job for them. Some people just dress in drag, or some people just cross dress. It's not always they don't. Not every person that, that cross dresses does shows on the weekend. Uh, cross dressing and drag queen. The first, the original kind of, title kind of was. Different. They say he kicked the cross yeah, dresser out. Drag queen is a, is an art, and yeah. cross dressing is just you want to dress up in different like different you know different sexes uh, clothing. So being a drag queen, all of it's like, wrong if you're a like, pastor. You can be a drag queen out, and a cross dresser. I'm not saying a pastor dr- doesn't exactly differentiate any of those. Straight up, that's not on you as a pastor. Differentiate any of those, dog. Depending upon which news title you went to, some people say the motherfucker was trans. Some people call it a crap. Say it was a cross dresser. Some people call it a drag queen. You gotta also remember that we in a in a society that don't even be giving them people the respect. So they just call it what the fuck they won't call it. Right. Bottom line is, you a pastor, man. You can't be kicking out no soul from Jesus Christ if that's what you're supposed that's, to be that's on. That's the bottom line. Like you know, what I'm saying if anybody my, is coming to for Christ. You should be willing to take them. Bruh, you know straight saying? up and down. Worry about the dress and the lipstick later. Because you know he thinks he is Jesus. That's all a fucking problem. They think they are the fucking Christ. So they get to pass the judgment. Okay, pause. Uh, We're going to come back to that topic because that goes into our question of the day. And I don't want to get too deep on that on that road. So uh, <laughs> uh, this chick sued her, do- her boyfriend for having a dick too big. Oh, but, yeah. I read wait, that story. I'm sorry. What? And she kind of feel. I feel like Slick's out. She has a case. But it's funny because it really she don't. But I spell the small. You feel like she has a case. A small it? reason. That no. no what point. did he like? What's the what's the lawsuit? Like she's her vagina him for what? is 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 it can't, it's stretched. It, it, she has, oh, it's all bashed up. Like, like it's really, so bashed up. She he said apparently no put real tears again. in her or something, man. She, that's what she claims. And she says she has to find that surgery is gonna cost her six thousand dollars to shape that pussy back up into his back to his regular form. That's you not, chose to ride that big ass. I'm dick, about to though. say, dog. That's consensual sex, right? You can't right. sue that man for fucking consensual sex that you, you consented. You to. saw that big ass dick, and you said, "Ooh, Ooh I child. want that." And you tried it. Hello. And I highly doubt that you only fucked them once. No, that's right. right. That was your ex boyfriend. So you continuously decided to hop up on yeah. that big ass dick. Y'all were dating for some period of time, which means you were settled with the fact that it had a huge fucking dick. And she sounds stupid, dude. Like it was consensual sex across the board. Y'all dated. Like, y'all dated for, like, more than a week, I'm sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you you know what the <laughs> fuck you was dealing enough. with. Right. right, 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 right. I can see if that was the case, then, okay, well, you know, maybe, possibly, but still, no. You know, uh-uh. Mm-mm. Sounds ridiculous. Totally, dog. But I was like, damn, though, dog. If, it's, if it is true that your vagina is no longer able to go with the average man anymore because it's so stretched out. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks, man. That sucks. How do you fix that? And then like $6,000 fixes that? Mm. Damn. But, you, but, but. That sucks. That's but. the consequences of you riding the dick. You decided it. Yeah. Because you your case only stands to me if you fucked them once and, and you, then you, I don't know, I think one fuck might give you some merit, but still, we but still, still go back to what we said. You though. decided. Once you decided, you put your own health at risk. Sorry to say. Which kind of makes me feel like, are you just doing this for fucking attention? Like, are you trying to go viral also? And what what is he supposed to do about this big dick of his? Chop it down? Right. No. You know what he no, can do no, about no. that? Get into porn. It's fucking stupid. Get, well, he needs to get into porn. Stupid. Probably is. I'm glad that black FedEx driver that uh, punched that man and called him a fucking nigger and killed him. Yeah, well. He, he got off. He, did, he didn't kill him, actually. He didn't kill him? This is what really happens, dog. He like, it's more like he tipped that nigga over to death, but he was already dying. 
That nigga, like, when they did the autopsy back, that's why he didn't get charged because when he punched him, the punch was not a fatal blow. The man was. Oh, no, that's, a, that's, that's the point of the story that the story is he got off and why. But you could keep going. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. That, that, that's the lead in. So that he, like, that was the big story that he killed him. But then in this story, they explained how and why he I was mad that they let me in like that. Yeah, you know I mean? like, Because that was the original story. That's all anyone knew. No one knew anything beyond anything until like, the autopsy. You know he what I'm saying? He didn't die right there on the spot either. But that's a hotter story to start running with. Yeah, because niggas is <laughs> shitty like FedEx that. driver Timothy Warren was trying to do his job officially when Joseph Magazine, what's his name? Mag Magnuson, Magnuson, there we go, Magnuson screamed at him for going too fast. Warren was reportedly driving no more than 20 miles an hour. The incident escalated when Magnuson, a white man, hurled a racist slur at Warren, a black man. Witnesses claim Mag Magnuson, Magnuson, I keep fucking it up, then threw either food or drink at the FedEx oh, worker whoa. and attempted to punch, to punch him. him. Warren then punched his attacker, hitting him just above the eye. The blow rendered Magnuson unconscious, and the unconscious, and 55-year-old died that evening. From speaking with witnesses, Senior Deputy District Attorney... Um, Adam Gibb determined Mr. Magnuson then, ver then very aggressively began yelling at Mr. Warren to slow down. Mr. Warren stopped his truck while Magnuson continued to berate him. The witnesses agreed that Magnuson called Mr. Warren a fucking nigger in combination with other aggressive and abusive phrases over and over again. This almost sounded like a dude who went to the uh, indigenous people like, my nigga, you, you, <laughs> you wanted that ass whipping. You yeah, asked for that. Asked for that. Warren right. won't be facing charges. The uh, attorney said, prosecutors determined that the 41-year-old acted in self-defense and had no intention of killing Magnuson. Oregon does not carry a duty to retreat law requiring Warren to step away from danger instead of fighting back. A medical examiner concluded the punch Magnuson suffered wasn't the cause of death. The expert found the 55-year-old was in extremely poor health. Drug addict. The fall, the fall he sustained following the punch is believed to have aggravated the man's already precarious constitution. Newsweek reports Gibbs wrote in his findings that death might have been avoided had Mr. Warren um, not stopped his truck and verbally engaged with Magnuson. However, the decision by Mr. Warren to not let the racist ritual, uh, to, to not let the racist ritual to which he was being subjected go unanswered is not of legal significance. Black man finally got off. Wow. <laughs> That's all I see. They gave us one. They gave us one. That's all I see in that. They gave us yeah, one. This poor white man was dying. Let's have love. And they him. damn near had to because of a motherfucking autopsy. You know what I'm saying? Right. The nigga was dying already. That's what this one they gave us. The nigga was Yeah, that's dying. what got that nigga off. The nigga that, that was on his deathbed who probably should have been in the hospital that day. But look how extreme the situation is. He was yeah. a full-blown racist going off, throwing shit, looking for a fight. Right, and then, the and then they had to, then the autopsy had to show that I mean, then they had to prove that it was self defense, and the autopsy had to show that that the the punch didn't necessarily um, was the thing. All this and all that, all these technicalities. When if there's reverse, she hmm, what technicality? Nah. <laughs> nah. For real, nah. Yeah, man, because I could, they probably wouldn't even went that deep. White boy, we just got off. <laughs> right. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing deep to go. But uh, yeah, I mean, that was the start of the section for right now, man. Cool. Let's get that Bats Nerd Out moment. Let's get nerdy. Bats Nerd Out moment. Bats Nerd Out. Bats Nerd Out moment. 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 So apparently Universal Studios mm -hmm. has come out to say that they're creating a Super Nintendo land. Do you oh. see this goddamn map? <laughs> they got a Yoshi's <gasps> Island. They got a Wario's Gold Mine. They have a <gasps> Mushroom Kingdom. There's a Pokemon at Hyrule. Mario Kart Speedway. Oh my Kirby's gosh. Dreamland. Metroid. Luigi's Donkey Mansion. Donkey Kong. They're doing a Nintendo Super Nintendo lying. theme park. Y'all won. Y'all won. Oh my god. Y'all won. That, that concept is so interesting. Y'all won. I would never have thought of that. Because you know, Disney Disney makes all the money for is the that, most part. But is that the point? Huh? Huh? Is at the point right now where it truly is time. Like this is the right time. Yeah. Because I ain't never seen it with so much. I'm looking at all this, and there's so much nostalgia right here that, yeah. that is like surpassed throughout generations of shit, dog. Like still here, like this. That's per perfect. It's perfect. I'm gonna give you, and I'm gonna give that's you this. Amazing. I'm gonna give you the nostalgia aspect of it, but also see you on 
just the I'm concept. <laughs> Just the concept of taking a system or a video game and making it, 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 it into a theme park, that's innovative. That's, that's innovative. innovative. Fucking up. What I was about to say is Disney World and Disneyland, Universal Studios makes a lot of money. Don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. But you already know the premier money goes to Disney World and Disneyland. And with Universal Studios and Six Flags and the rest of them kind of being under the Disney banner because Disney's motherfucking Disney. But Universal Studios said, oh yeah? We're going to do it with the game. Because Universal Studios is fun as fuck because they've been doing it with the movies. Yeah, man. They do it with the movies. Yeah. So, it's, so it's a natural progression. Mm -hmm. You don't need to do it with the games. You got the movies. You could do both now. Yeah. Universal Studios can do both now. They can do movie themed shit and now they have a specific thing specifically. That game <laughs> shit is game. Redundancy. Right, that's for that's Super, Super Nintendo. Epic. That game shit is going to be over. Son. Because Super Nintendo has some of the best But son, Universal imagine where that can world. go. You're just starting with Super Nintendo. If they that's successful, you can do Sega, you right. can do PlayStation. Wait, 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 that shit works? So wait till Dragon much. Ball Z and shit it's, like that. Ooh, there's over. so many it's ways. Over. It's so, like, you change the thinking of theme parks. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You change it. At least you bring up Dragon Ball Z. Fuck that. Someone will create an anime theme park. Right. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? I mean, like, Full blown. Not just the Dragon Ball. Like, you, yeah. took it, you took it to another, another level right fast, Universal Studios. That's really dope. Like, that's really fucking creative. That's yeah. an excellent idea. Bruh. That I never saw coming. I never thought about a fucking video game themed no. theme park. Like, that's epic. No. What the fucking, game? what the fucking, oh, old school shit and uh, the fucking, like everything Yoshi Island, with uh, Mushroom Kingdom right in the fucking middle. middle. Animal Crossing. Yes. <laughs> Luigi's, Luigi's Mansion gonna be a haunted fucking of theme. Course. Like, like all these things. Like, so I, smart. Beautiful. Mario Galaxy apps. Wonderbar. Please have a fucking they Mario have a go Kart, Kart. There's area. Mario Kart Speedway oh, right there. Oh, there we go. That's all I want. Just give me Boy, Mario, Mario Kart. Turtles is over. That's Son. dope, man. I, I, I have to see it. I That's gonna cost a lot of money, though. That's so the they got it. So they started building it. So yeah, it's getting built sure. now. Mm -hmm. They just started. When is their projected uh, uh, open like open that. date? Um, the projected opening. They're not saying just now. They're just building. Let me see. Uh, finance expert. We plan doing an industry podcast. Da 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 da. Nope. Uh, currently, Super World is taking shape at Hollywood and Japanese theme parks and Universal Studios with the third one slated to be Orlando. The deal will be some of the one and one, brother. Da, 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 da. They're doing them in the They're going to have one in Japan, one in uh, Orlando, and one in Hollywood. That's going to be ignorant. Um, they don't got a projected time when it's okay. coming out. I'm going to do my own research on that. Yeah, but that but looks pretty dope. Cool. That, that, that I'm looks, here for that. I'm, I'm totally, totally with it. Wow. Totally, totally, totally with it. Mm -hmm. uh, um, next, really next up, man. Um, this was interesting to me, man. Uh, Yvonne Orhe, that's his last name. She's from the. She plays Miley on Insecure. Mm -hmm. They had the story that came out uh, where she landed a role on Insecure with no agent, no manager, no acting experience. How? Nothing but God, nigga. Like there, there had to be some kind of end, though. So I mean, how did she get on set? How did she get to a meeting? Like what? What the fuck happened? She sent the tape in and Issa saw it and gave her a try, apparently. Oh, okay, well, I mean, if that's She case. says her role in Secure was a result of a personal journey during which she said yes to an opportunity that she felt could help her launch a career in Hollywood. It was a temp job that she hated but allowed her to perform comedy at night. I said yes to taking over a stand-up show in New York City. I said yes to a residency in a college production in Richmond, Virginia that gave me two days to get there. I said yes to being a writer in the writer's room for a TV show in L.A. See, there we go. That's how she got yeah, in. Yeah. She explains you're in the writer's room. She explains that there was a lot of hustle and there was a lot of setbacks, but she refused to give up. When the show she was just writing for got canceled, or he started to think of ways to create her own opportunities. Then she developed a series called First Gen based on her own life about a Nigerian woman who drops out of the medical field to pursue a career in comedy. Mm -hmm. Though the series was never picked up by a network, she reduced she, she released the videos on YouTube. It was her work on First Gen, she says, that served as her audition tape for Insecure. Mm, wow. It's what Issa was able to see and turn to the producers and say, give her a shot. So she even sent an audition tape. They caught wind of some she doing once again, Just she doing her in. own shit, got caught wind of by being consistent with that, and even need a nigga to come on. I didn't have an agent, I didn't have a manager, nothing. I had never acted, so this is HBO. This is not like a small production. And this thing that I hunkered down and accomplished was that what Issa was able to be like, let's try and hear her out. Mm. Wow. Like, that, that's just major to me. That's, 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 that's pretty epic. It starts a lot for you, baby. Because you're yeah, they are, right. I mean, yeah, she she worked for that, for sure. So your stars align. But fuck, the stars align like and a you, motherfucker. And you, and you are ready. End of the day, dog. 
there's no one way in this game and nobody can tell you shit because again you need to always continue to do your own dog but I said, that's the one that's because the one thing that seems to she remain was the doing same. her own and that's what got her on son it wasn't even no asian it was like oh i was doing my own thing it got to east of some kind of way however it did because the thing is you never know who watching you you yeah. never know who knows somebody you never know nothing as long as you stay diligent with what you're doing it's gonna always come to you dog that's why i be feeling guilty when we be saying when we don't stay consistent because i be like fuck man because then you see these stories and it's like damn son like it can happen yeah. that's all i need for inspiration is the fact that it's possible yeah that's all i be needing likewise son. shit i got Super inspired possible. i saw myself on tv for two seconds wait on, what on ncis that is, you can shout yourself out. He like tried to make that a segue. That was not a segue. There you go. <laughs> well, you can talk your shit. What you saying? <laughs> What's up, son? I don't know, nigga. Just inspired the fuck out of me, nigga. Like, just see myself on TV for two seconds. Bro. I was like, like, nothing wrong with it, dog. Just see a nigga on TV, dog. Or see a nigga with that kind of same story, dog. It's inspiring, dog. But this shit also does not just inspire. It lights a fire. I'm just with it, dog. Like, in, it? what you saying? Good one. It's just making me feel like maybe, like you said earlier, dog, we should be going harder. And that's, I think everyone feels that way. And right. every, and it, well, not every, no, everyone doesn't feel that way because not everyone's ambitious. But uh, most ambitious people will, like, I feel, I feel personally, I be feeling personally guilty when I'm not doing shit that I'm supposed to be doing. It's just, even sometimes I be out places or doing whatever, and I'm yeah. like, shit, I should be writing, or I should be As reading this, so I should like, be writing this, hey, 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 hey. Mama got to have a life too, though. No, no, I'm not saying, because no, no, you got to also take in inspiration from other sources as well. You can't just be whoop de woo But at the end of the day, if you also, it's supposed to be a balance. And if you ain't balanced on the other end, you can't, I feel like you got to earn that shit, though. One of my tattoos is pleasure equals sacrifice. I shouldn't be going out nowhere in my brain if I ain't putting in the work to make that possible or to yeah. make that, that yeah. time taken yeah. out. You know what I mean? A able to do. You dig? Because like, they got cats. There's always somebody going harder than you. There's always somebody up reading some book that you ain't reading. There's always somebody writing when you ain't writing. There's somebody got 10 scripts when you got five written. They got somebody, you know what I mean? So they got somebody got 10 monologues in here when you got three. So my mind, dog, and usually the cream rises to the, to the, rises to the top, son. So it's like when I'm in my mind, I mean, when I see these stories and when I, you know, see other stories or what have you, and I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, man, need to be going harder. If you really, really want it like that, it needs to be going harder. Really and, that, true, and that was one of those stories that hit me like that because she got on with no major, no no agent, none of that shit. That's she just, her, her thing like was that. she did I get, a, took writing, a temp job, I like this was shit. writing, I acted, I did this play. then shot her own shit. Like she did nothing that's beyond anybody listening that might have aspirations. Right. Straight up. She had aspirations. Yeah. Uh, and uh, y'all saw the Lion King trailer? Yep. Nope. Live action Lion King trailer. Was it a teaser or a trailer? Teaser. It was a teaser. Was a, I, I would definitely call this a teaser. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. But a king's time as ruler rises and falls like the sun. One day, the sun will set on my time here and will rise with you as the new king. This up. Oh, they won't. They won't fuck it up. I still think. Um, I still think the they intro won't. to Circle of Life is like one, one of the most, most epic yeah. things ever. Ever, like, ever in cinema. One I just wish most. I could just wake up to that like every morning. Like that would get me out of bed so. Bro, what? So great. Ah, yeah, I'm about to conquer the shit. <laughs> 
Say, yeah, son, I'm here that's for probably it. the best teaser I've seen out. A lot of teasers I've seen in the last couple of years. Because it made you feel something. Right. Yeah. He gave that's... me a few things. I need everything. He yeah. gave me a few things. I mean, I just love that what he said, man. The sun will set on me and he showed the buffaloes. Yeah. That buffalo said, yeah. yeah. You know what's about to happen. <laughs> right oh, now. That was so... Mm. Some stuff like that. Uh, stuff yeah, like that. Shit oh, like that. Shit see. like that. Now, I hate on you Aladdin teaser, but this one gave yeah, me Yeah, the they gave us a little more. Right, exactly. That film, man. Aladdin, this one gave us the feel. And had the I music, Aladdin's too, because Aladdin one didn't give us the music. It just, yeah, it, you know what I mean? It just, yeah. it just had that, dog, oh, this one just. Right, we just we, gave us the Cave of Wonders voice. I right. am just so we should, happy we should that. We should have had Jabal for a voice or somebody voice. I am so happy that the people Jabal. who made Jungle Book came back and they're making Lion King. Because Jungle Book was Jungle great. Was yeah, that shit. was awesome. <laughs> it was great. So I, when I, the whole time I was watching Jungle Book, I felt like that was their audition tape for Lion King. Cause I'm like, dude, Agreed. they have this too perfect with the with the animals talking. It just Mowgli was, was the only human, and it was just like, whoa, this looks great. This is the time for it. So even and I love this even the, the way it looks. It's like it doesn't look cartoony. That is yeah, how a little bro. lion cub would look. Yeah. That is because when I when I first I saw Rafiki, I was like, oh, that is how Rafiki would look in real yeah. life. Yeah, <laughs> it's a baboon. It yeah. a real baboon. A real baboon. This movie's gonna be amazing. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. This is the same. Lion King can never get old. Whether you do it live on a Broadway musical, whether you do it live on a Broadway musical, you remake the movie again out the Disney vault and sell it back to the movie theaters like it wasn't, you know what I'm saying, already on fucking DVD and everywhere else you get for free. Don't matter. But Because I was there. Like, I, I like, took my ex-girlfriend on our first date there. Lion King transcends, though. And, and now, you was like, what, two when Lion King came out? No, I came out in 95. Like so how old were you? I was four. I was like, I was at the movie theater when it came out. It was like, it was my, it was my, that was my childhood movie. Like they grow with. I was about like eight or nine, so it kind of makes sense. But what you saying? Keep going. What you saying? Oh. I could have sworn it was a '93 movie, but I think '95 is right because '93 is Aladdin. So keep going. Uh, let's fact check this. We do I not have my... to do. You just say what you say. Oh, <laughs> like, check, no. check them. Um, going. If you feel like it's that hard in '95 and you was four, son, I can't take away from your four, your four year old childhood. Keep going. Oh, well, what, what else was I saying about that shit though? You were just saying how you felt watching the trailer. Oh, well, yeah, though. No, it just. I like to step your game up. Uh, I ain't gonna say last step your game up, son. It's just. Like, give a better teaser, dog. Because like, like, this still we, was a we tease. Didn't have, we didn't have no Jafar. This still was a we, tease. Like you said, we had no rug. Before. But I mean, we didn't have no scar. See what I mean? They didn't give us everything in this We didn't need everything. But we, the James L. Jones voice, the, the paw and the footprints, the symbolism. You know what I'm saying? Well, all he had was one symbolized thing, and it's that he was going to the cave to meet the fucking genie. And the thing about Latin is it's much deeper than that. God damn, bro. I don't even know, son. Sorry, but I, you know, but I still think Latin's gonna be great. So I looked it up. Lion King came out in '94, so you were three. three. But I really was wanted to look up when does. Oh, they said the summer, right? They said this summer. Three years old. Summer Lion King 2019. I okay, said that by, by the next year, I definitely watched it hard. But I do remember going to the movie theaters and seeing that shit. I mean, you saw it in theaters, dog. That's great because I saw the theaters too. I remember right. it. Me too. So vivid. I remember that shit, dog. Watch so that epic. Shit. My mom has still never seen it. She tripping. Because she heard that Mufasa died, wow. and she thought she was going to cry, so she never watched it. You know what hurt me, so though? Whack. What hurt me was uh, Kimba. When you find out about Kimba? Yeah, it hurt me, dog. It I hurt was like, me. I was like, well, it didn't surprise me, because it was, you know, what white people do. It's not what, what, what white people do, it's what culture oh. does. Big business. You know, like, there's, there's a lot of stories that we think is ours that we took from where the Asian mm -hmm. or African or whatever uh, background. So it's like, yeah. I, I was like, Lion King is still ours because it don't only take from Kimba. It makes Kimba with Hamlet, with this. You know what I mean? So it, even though it got well, most yeah, of the beats from Kimba. Kimba, got from Hamba, like, you know you hear me? So it's like, yeah, so it's one of those things of, well, Kimba exists. That's whoever got Kimba. We got Lion King and I'm good with it. Because when I watched some of Kimba, I was like, this is cool, but... Uh, I've never seen Kimba. Man. It's just, they take direct characters and shit. Though, they, they, they take, a, like, yeah, but it's like, it, ain't, it ain't swaggy. It's not as swaggy as Lion King, son. Money. You hear me? I mean, I mean Disney do what Disney Tiny. do. I mean, Disney do what Disney do, though. Whoever, the people who made Kimba didn't have the classic songs. That's another thing that brought up this teaser. Dog, when you when, when you hit that, and yeah, yeah, when that hit, uh, I'm not right. when, it, when it just started. Lion King soundtrack. One of the best. It's up there with Tarzan's. It's, it's better than Tarzan's. Tarzan. Tarzan, a, Tarzan got a fire soundtrack. Don't slip. Don't slip. Tarzan. I'm telling you. Soundtrack wise, now you talking about the movie. Not the movie. With the soundtrack. Yes. Uh, Phil Collins ate the fuck out of that. Oh, yeah. I like Phil Collins. Yes. I like I'm trying Phil to tell Collins, you, he, he ain't talking no bullshit. Tarzan is known to be one of the premier Disney what? soundtracks because like Phil that. Collins did it. The movie, whatever the fuck, but the soundtrack is a beast. What? But no, I'm still going to ride my Lion King. 
in your son. The soundtrack makes the movie for that. It movie. does. Oh, but once again, the music was so epic, and I think that's probably one thing that was missing because we got like hints of the background music for Aladdin teaser, but for the Lion King teaser, dog, just the feel because they just showed us the names of the actors with the music in the background, and we still enthralled. Let's look at the names. Beyonce, James Earl Jones. Seth Rogen. I'm like, oh, I know for a fact Seth Rogen has to be Pumba. Of course. Yeah, he has to be Pumba. He is Pumba. He's Pumba. Who's Simone? Timon, though? Uh, yeah, we got to go back Simone. to this. Though. We already covered this, like, back in the back of all the cast. All right, so Seth Rogen is Pumba. Donald Glover is um, Grown Simba. Of course. Keegan Michael Key is Kamari. Uh, she would tell Loja for a scar. James Earl Jones is Mufasa. Billy Eichner is Timon. Alfred Woodard is Sarabi. Beyonce is Nala. Eric Andre is Azizi. Florence what? Kasumba is Shinzi. I don't know who Shinzi is. Who Shinzi is? I'm about to say, there are some characters that I don't know about. No, um, you know him. Oh, no, Azizi. That's the, uh, that's the, uh, the, the bird. The bird. The bird is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, thanks, thanks. Uh, no, they didn't add no characters. We just didn't know these niggas' names. <laughs> I gotta say, they were like, like, uh, like uh, Kamari and shit. Like, we didn't know these niggas' names. I say Kamari. I know that's one hyenas. That's one hyenas. Wow. No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Zazu. We didn't no, come no, back Zazu. To no, Zazu is the a bird. So yeah, who Zazu. Is Azizi. We don't look these niggas up. Oh, they got the one with their pictures next to it. That's what I want to see. But what you saying, uh, uh, Seth? Oh, man, man, we'll be going over and come back for one of the hyenas. She should have, right? Yeah, she was classic. Actually, that whole cast was classic. But, that, that but so they got somebody tight to be the hyena, if I, if I think, if I remember right. But hold on. Somebody whoop his voice, dog, for that hyena. You're right. You know, you're absolutely right. I don't even want to dispute it. You're absolutely right. If you could bring back James Earl Jones, they could have brought back Whoopi. Duh. Straight that, up. That hyena Straight was up. classic, son. Hey, they could bring back James Earl Jones. Did you see what's Whoopi. going on here? Like, she was the real runner of that shit. Um, they're just showing faces, but we're not seeing uh, names next to faces. So, uh, Scar is a dope nigga, though. Bro. Yeah, she would tell over to her, Scar. Yeah, I know all these people is. But anyway, I don't, I don't feel like wasting time on this. We'll look up all this shit later. But Lion King, no matter what, is going to be a maze balls. It's obviously going to be a maze balls. Yeah. You, you can't like you can't dodge the maze ballsness of it. It's just, it's really tough. Get none, don't get none on you. <laughs> uh, New York undercover supposedly. Uh, Malik Yoba wanted to come back. Uh, I'm let it go, dog. It was huge when I was young, but I never watched it. Never I watched it. it. You watched New York Gunner? It was dope. I, yeah. like, I fuck with it. That was huge. Everybody's no, schools to talk about it. Stuff, but I never no, watched it. Everybody's schools to talk about it. I, I just never did that. The, 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 the one day intro was real dope. If you ever listen to the, uh, I remember the intro. The music hit. Yeah. I remember it. I remember and it. I just don't, I don't got the finest for it. But a lot of people want that to come back. And I'm like, okay, interesting. Real talk. I honestly, now I think about it, not really, really think about it, and the idea of it, I do want to come back. Because there was these two minority cops that was like street undercover with this chick. And they was like really solving crimes and shit, but also saving the hood while trying to do that shit. But I'm just saying, I feel like other shows spawned from that era. So it was like you try to bring back something that somebody already kind of took the baton with. You know how many fire ass crime shows we got? I don't see nothing like that. You wouldn't have a The Wire without New York Undercover Fansters. You wouldn't have a Snowfall without New York Undercover Fansters. You probably wouldn't even have Narcos. And then, and then another show like this, New York Undercover and another show but the thing, both the, but really popular at the time. But New York Undercover is like is like competing with NCIS. It's not going to really compete with the Snowfall kind of thing. You're saying it's a procedural. Yeah. They, when they, the episode was one like Snowfall, like they lit or something. It was always a different episode, a different thing going on. You know what I'm saying? So you're saying since it was a hood procedural. Yeah. Or, or more of an edgy procedural is what you're saying. I could be with it, dog. I know I watched it, so if, if, if what you saying is what it is, I'll be open to it. But yeah, dog. I'm, 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 I'm Snowfall. I'm like, well, that they had story plots. No, but no, 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 no. I'm not saying. I'm saying Snowfall in the level of things lead to other things. Yeah, all right. I you know what I'm that. saying? Or something like an edgy move, an edgy show about cops in the hood lead to something like The Wire being able to be conceptualized. That's what I'm saying. I, 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 you I, I have a, that. That's what I'm I saying. That. that, but at the end of the day, but you're saying at the end of the day, it's a procedural first right and if and they you, brought back a hood are. edgy procedural i'll be open to seeing that shit if they put right. new orleans mm -hmm. <laughs> right <laughs> this guy is not new orleans is not uh edgy at all but if you go if you go a real edgy route with this procedural like really did because because mm. that's what though that's what made it that's what made it pop son these niggas was like it was real edgy. Even the stories was tight, honestly like, though. I've been wanting to, uh, like I wish I wish Tremaine could have been with it with the why it was though. I really mm. people really dropped the drop the balls on doing serious crime stories in our city because there's so many fire ass yeah, elements that you tried. can use from our city that just given our city that that nigga you can get very creative. You can get very creative with so much in our culture that y'all often don't even I feel like be looking. 
I don't know, man. They always miss the mark somehow. That's why we got to do it. All right. Trey, yep. So let's get the Joe Sports Corner, man. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. All right, what are we man, talking about? First thing is first, dog. We beat the Falcons for our first ever Thanksgiving Woo! game. Woo! Stumped them boys, dog. We beat the shit out of them. Nigga. Yeah. We, we, we scored a touchdown on our first play, shit. Nigga, like, now, our first drive, I mean. Let me tell you. Let me tell you how stupid this is. They, Atlanta won the coin toss and uh, chose to defer mm -hmm. and give us the ball. That, so that's, that's so disrespectful. Because they wanted the ball by the half. That's what they fucked. That's what you fucked up. They came close. Nah, it took them over. Let me tell you. I. They did have the ball before the half, is what I'm saying. It, it was not impossible oh. for them to make a play to have a double touchdown. It's just saying they didn't let that happen. <laughs> because. <laughs> say that shit let down. me tell you why Saints didn't let it happen, dog. Number one, this game wasn't. Everybody thought it was going to be a shootout. But thank God the defense overall stepped up, which secondary isn't too good. You know what I'm saying? They still got a lot of people who are like in the back defense area, like in the cornerbacks and the secondary with middle linebackers ain't star level. And they're going hard, like hard up. You know what I'm saying? And I like that Sean keep everybody fresh. He switch you out. He keep you on your toes. Mm -hmm. He switch. He, Dog. you don't know who you're going to be, who you going to be playing against half the time because he switch him out so he, quick. No, he definitely rotates bodies and puts them in various different plays. Sean is a, well, but you know what? That's also the that's not even Sean with the defense. That's the defensive coordinator. Right. I give it to him. We do that on offense too, is what I'm saying. Like no, no, no. Sean has like when it comes like I, like when it comes to defense, that's mostly that's 98% defense coordinator running those plays. All I'm saying is generally when I was watching the game with the Saints, though, I was taken aback by oh, how well, Sean, generally yeah. speaking rotation of, the yeah. rotation of players yeah. happens so often. Even the commentators are giving making note of it, and I'm looking at it and I'm like, wow, that is an interesting thing because if I'm on the other team. I don't know who the fuck I'm always preparing for, like Sean Payton in, gives, in certain instances. Sean Payton gives niggas time to prove themselves. Drew Brees gives niggas time to prove themselves. Cause Drew Brees also shares the ball around to a lot of new people that come through. He doesn't. He talks uh, Michael Thomas a lot. They talked about that about because if they fuck they, up once, they go back and drill that shit till it's in their body muscle memory, and that's smart as hell too. And by the way, Michael Thomas, they catch up to like 95% of they they they, they catches dog. Which yeah, Drew Brees. But chemistry. Back to the defense, dog. Them niggas caused four fum uh, two fumbles, two interceptions, about I want to say at least five sacks, dog. Uh, so many pushbacks. It, the defense really held up. Now I will grant us this: their defense wasn't there. They have an all-star defense that wasn't there. A lot of their players were hurt, but that's the life of football. Oh well. You know what I'm saying? It was just so fun to watch them on offense as well, though, dog. Like, oh, no, we offense, the ones cut up. A fun team to motherfucking watch. And this was yeah. second. So I've been watching NFL at all this season. This team so I finally jail. got to see old boy Elvin Kamari, is his name? Yeah. That everybody, Kamara. 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 That everybody been like, you know, everybody been talking about how amazing he is, you know, taking all these pictures. I've been seeing this nigga everywhere. He's a star without me. I already know he's a star without me ever seeing him. So I get to see his ass cut up on the Falcons. Oh, he I was cuts like, up, bro. Oh, That's what he do, bro. Yeah, dog. Oh. Like, see, he, he missed a slipping, he missed a slipping slide in truck. And Mark Ingram is the powerhouse. He'll beat you down. I already know Ingram, though. Like, come, come, uh, this nigga is new for me. Well, he you know was actually, he won rookie of the year last year. I ain't been watching football the past couples, dog. You well, know what I'm saying? Right? Yeah. Ingram been around since I was still riding. Before all the bullshit with Kaepernick. When that shit happened with Kaepernick, I only was watching Saints games. So it was like, we boycotted. I French eyes about a nigga I've been hearing about. Right, right, exactly. So when they said we boycotted, I was like, wait, nothing for me now. I'm watching, you know, Saints games. Okay, boom, gone. So it was like, I've been watching like two years, but get to see him, when, like you said, to see him, that was fire. And on top of it, this nigga, like, no matter what, he makes yards. Yep. He'll make yards out of nothing. Yep. No matter what. He always makes positive yardage. He always makes positive Period. yardage. Period. Period. And he's gonna, he's averaging like what about four like I think six yards a carry. Matt Ryan was motherfucking shook from the first play. <laughs> he was cursing the first the first two drives. This nigga on cursing pits. And even the commentators is like he's to calm down. He seems nervous. <laughs> Bro, there's one point where Matt Ryan's eyes were so focused on one uh, player, and the commentator was like, "See, this is Matt Ryan's fault right here. He studied on one guy, and the defender can read him easily. He's just looking at him." And they showed a play of the defender just looking at Matt Ryan and literally running with the ball as Matt Ryan is like like this and throws it, dog. I'm like, dog, you that shook that you can't even go to your selections. He lucky he was getting that off because he was getting sacked like a motherfucker. That we Cam kept Jordan, it. boy, oh, boy, 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 dog, dog. Them boys was putting that heat rock that on. Pressure. Dog. Persia, putting that Persia. That was the game of the night, bro. That was the game of the night. We hosted Atlanta, yep. so you know we fried their ass all in this bitch, dog. Yep. If people that don't know that's listening, that's not from here or from Atlanta, that is a huge. Or don't listen to football. That's a huge rivalry between the two. Specifically, dog. I'm just gonna tell this to all y'all Atlanta Falcons fans from Atlanta. 
Don't come to the dome. Just don't. Just don't come don't to the dome. Win, lose, or draw, we gonna fuck with y'all. Right. Cause we from New Orleans. Regardless. That's how we are. Oh, we gonna we gonna buy y'all a drink though. You know what I mean? We we but don't just don't come to the dome. I'm not buying no Atlanta fan on ten dollar fucking beer. Don't come to the dome. No, not the the game. And they already do dick shit when we go to Atlanta anyway, and that's already right. been videotaped and documented. So just don't come to the dome no more. Right. Just don't. Just y'all. Spare yourself. Oh, just don't. And if you do come to the dome, don't wear the jersey. Sit, right. sit, sit with us and pretend that you ain't from Atlanta. Yeah, then you're all good. Negro. You're we we let bandwagoners on. We don't mind that in New Orleans. It's gonna yeah. be a bandwagoner. We ain't tripping. Y'all niggas cold hearted. It's what it is. Yeah, though. I'm trying to say so. Cold world. From, from, getting, from getting the New Orleans heat. I mean, son, there's there's a certain heat that you can see. People were crying. <laughs> People were crying from that whooping that was getting put like on that. them Falcons, dog. I, like I love how our players they got that picture yeah, eating fucking turkey, turkey, turkey leg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like like that. Old medieval turkey leg. Dude, right. yeah, we, we eating birds tonight, baby. We eating all Bruh. the birds, dog. So that, that's one. Uh, LeBron James beat uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers, so that was his like first home game going back to Cleveland. Nice. Say, say, say what you said again. Oh, my bad. The Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> but I still like that. My, my, my dog, LeBron. Is LeBron James. That's how people always be saying it, though. <laughs> man, LeBron beat them boys. I'm like, bro, he's just a team now, though. Don't act like he don't got a team now. I said, this man got a team No, now. he ain't got a team now. That he's nigga building is a team. A team. Uh, but he is. <laughs> he is. He always is. He always has been, dog. The only time like uh, he didn't have to be is when you talking about previously with your boy Austin when he was with uh, in Florida. He got yeah. his boy with him, but for the most part, it's LeBron and them. LeBron versus. Now here's some tea about Golden State. After Kevin Durant and, K and uh, Draymond Green got into it, and Draymond was suspended for a game, they lost that game to uh, the Houston Rockets, which the Pelicans had beat. Mm. On top of that, the game they had without Steph Curry. They lost again after that Ooh. to the San Antonio Spurs. Could have been losing. Yeah, bruh. Without Steph Curry and uh, essentially without Draymond Green as part, uh, part of the full pick, you're starting to really see that KD is not really as much needed. It, even though he's a, a assassin and probably the second best NBA player under LeBron in the league. Uh, but the whole team is built around Steph Curry, though. So it's like if right. you're missing Steph Curry, of course they're going to start breaking down. Then you lose Draymond Green, too. I mean, it makes sense. But KD, this is to like let you know, dog. Go find your own team. But I'm 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 a counter this on the level of what if he had more practice with who's in the game right now and, and had that onus to put on him? Because if you're used to being played like you're not, don't have the onus of a Stephen Curry. And out the blue, now these things are gone. Now I'm playing with these. It's, no, it might K be no, a different no, no, dichotomy, no, dog. No, KD is a uh, superstar. I understand he's a superstar, like, but like, you still like, need chemistry with your team. He no no he 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 had. They, that, and chemistry if, if from he, being and having to be dependent upon as a have leader chemistry too. for his team and he can't show up as a leader you know what i'm saying because the thing is he's a closer steph curry takes breaks most of the time when he's on the floor because he takes over the game completely steph curry is the finalizer of all things but the thing is he doesn't have to be because kd is also another finalizer so he lets kd finalize the shit i mean i understand that so but 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 like i do understand where you're coming from of like give him a few games before we can really tell, because you're saying they just lost these people. Give him a few games. Let him work with these people and work, no, with, no, no, no. And work with these That's people knowing that I'm the leader. That's what practice is for. Like, they, they, there's, there's things where they work where KD takes the point where he leaves and shit like but that. But it's still different when different niggas is there. As far, and, and, different, ain't even, like, like, and I'm saying don't forget that it's different from when you got to play like I'm the leader versus when I'm not. But that's that's when you gotta step up the hardest now. But give him a few games, is what I'm saying. They yeah. still losing a few games without Steph Curry completely. Then I hear you. But one game or two games, I feel like still give some chemistry, like some time. Cause then nope. you, got, you also don't got Draymond. That's like two niggas gone. Now it's not only give LeBron no time when that ball's losing his games. LeBron and did lose when he had a sad ass team. No, I'm talking about the Lakers that he got it now. Nah, he had a went on a losing. But streak. the fact that that's happened with him shows that maybe if KD has some time with these niggas, you never know. Yeah, but at the same time, you better. You better step it up, dog. <laughs> dog. He said, yo, thin ice. LeBron dropping 51 points, dog. LeBron said, your legacy on thin ice, KD. Mm. Your on, legacy son. on thin ice, bitch. Right, you starting to see some cracks, ho. And it's right. not just in your BDBs. Mm. <laughs> and that's Joe's fucking sports corner. No, I got one to add to oh, it. Yeah, yeah, to some it. shit I took from the starter section. And I said, wait, this will go in the sports corner. I got me one. Michael B. Jordan versus Roy Jones Jr. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's not sports to me. No, that's like, God, that's but like, about uh, boxing. Like, check this out, son. <laughs> He's going to get beat up. He's going to get beat up. I don't care how good of an actor and how well you train some of these couple of months. It's not in your muscle memory to do the dumb shit that Mario Jones Jr. do when he in the ring. I don't respect you for trying to fight a nigga that's about to be 50. 
I don't think he seriously meant the challenge. It better be some kind of. Uh, I think TZMC called him just talking some shit, and then people started riding. Why Roy Jones on everybody? Um, because that's his dude apparently. Man, Roy Jones will knock you out, son. Let's see. He issued an offhand way while. Yeah, he said so. When Creed saw Michael B. Jordan issued one in the offhand way while speaking to TMZ, um, what he said in Hollywood, da da da. Uh, DMZ cameras called with Jordan Hollywood and asked him who he'd take on if he could. And he said, Roy Jones, that's my dude. I feel like I could do my thing a little bit. I could hold my thing right now, but in his prime now. Nah. Okay, this is, this is not what they was trying to make it out of. Yeah, it's a different thing. I'm, I'm going to let him, you know. Michael P., what's going on, my man? Chilling, chilling, bro. What's going on? So, I heard that you... After all your training for the Creed movies, yeah. you can hold your own in a fight. I mean, I can do my thing a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So I've been working out with Rocky, I've been working out with, like, you know what I'm saying, like Apollo Creed. I'm doing my thing. Absolutely. So, now, who all time would you want to step into the ring with, whether it's a boxer, wrestler, UFC Man. fighter, anybody? Like Roy Jones, bro. Roy Jones? Roy Jones, that's my dude, bro. You think you can hold your own? I feel like I can do my thing a little bit. Yeah? I can hold my thing. Right now, in his prime, nah, he'll probably knock my ass out. But, like, right now, I can do my thing. All right, I'll take that. Yeah, that was, like, really offhand. Mm -hmm. And then when people ran with it and ran to Roy, they are like... respecting, really. Like, it kind of sounds like it yeah. would be an honor to fight him. Right, this is my favorite fighter. This is who I want to fight. Yeah. Rather than I know I could, you know... That's fucked up. Yeah, they try to switch that story, man. Of course, I saw the video. First thing is, you know, I never ducked a fight in my life. I don't duck nothing, right? Yeah. Never nothing. And my hurricane to come down here. So, I ain't running from nobody. If Michael B. wants his real, contact Roy Jones Jr. and we can make it happen. Yeah, see? You got my number, he can contact you and get my number, so there's no question about how can I find a no, note. You know how to find one. Call TMZ. Get Roy's number from TMZ, and let's make it happen. Roy, now he said in the video, he said, I think he would probably have killed me back in his prime. That's true. <laughs> how about now, though? Do you actually give him any chance to beat you now, even though you are 49, Roy? I, don't, I know he can't beat me still because, right. I mean, I know he's probably in better condition because he's younger Doesn't and so he could probably think he can go longer and probably thinks he may be able to even out working now. But I'm a vet. I'm right. an old school vet. <laughs> old school vet ain't going out like that. Right. To have the heart to come to the ring with me, I love it. You understand me? So I hope you understand what boxing is. So I'm not out there to just take my right away because then you don't get the experience of the boxing match. If I'm a professional like I am, and I know he's big and strong because he got strong for the movie, yeah, I should be able to avoid all that, take him in a deep water so he understands what a boxing match really is. Right. But once he comes out, he don't want to say, oh, I got knocked out the first round, so I don't know. No, 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 no. I'm not laying off that easy. I'm going to need five, six rounds at you. So I want you to see how it really feels. So that's why I'm talking like that. Not because I think he can really match my skills. I really don't. Even at 49. How <laughs> long would you need, Roy, to he get really right to though. where you could step in there? Like, what's the soonest we could make this that? fight happen? Uh, I probably need for him. <laughs> About four or five weeks. <laughs> I believe that one hundred percent. One hundred percent, dog. One hundred percent, dog. Roy is a whole scientist, dog. He is a boxing scientist. He is a craftsman, dog. Come on, like he will outwit Michael B. Jordan in round one, son. So that boy really caught a boy said for him. Mm, oh, about a, it's about a month, a little bit over a month. But this is what I will give uh, Michael B. TMD, y'all being messy. Yeah, they be that messy. man is say he could beat Roy Jones. All right. He said he could just stand in the ring and he said, I can do my little thing a little bit. He yeah. didn't even, he didn't even yeah, see that it. That wasn't even much He right. never said he could beat him. I can, I can lick it too off him, you know what I'm I saying? I can just be in the ring a little right. bit. Right. Yeah. Dodge one punch. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I'm going to give Michael B that. That man never said that. Y'all asked him who he would want to he would step in the ring with. He's a Roy Jones fan. We said Roy Jones Jr. I feel like I could stand in the ring with him at 50. Not beat him, not fight him, not outwit him. And then George, Roy Jones, y'all remember boxers at the end of the day, all hustlers. They all promoters. So he heard, oh, my name was Michael B. That's a cash yeah, grab. Right. Let me hype that uh, up right fast. Right because even yeah. all in fun, he's still like, let me hype that up right fast. Yeah. I mean, Roy Jones, like, you should have spoke about somebody that was dead. Because <laughs> uh, I speak to all. Whether right, you're nigga. playing, whether you're lying, right. whether you're fronting, whether it's fiction, I'm going to answer. At 49. At motherfucking 49. So uh, let's I'm get out Let's get out of it. I love the way he answered. Let's get out of sports corner. Get to the question of the day that came straight from the On the Lake podcast. Okay. We're all the protagonists in particular. They were talking about religion mm -hmm. on the On the Lake podcast recently. And she sent out a question to us and all the other people on the scroll. What is it about church that deterred that started, deterred you from going? When I read the Bible. What made uh, you stop going to church? 
Oh, what makes you? And if you never went to church, what makes you not go to church? Oh, uh, like also like um, it just the show. Sometimes I've been lucky to have people who had good messages when they talk, but I've been to other places and other churches where the show was just it was just a show. I think there was no message and there was a lot of cash grabbing. So that shit and a lot of judging. So that shit just like, man, nigga don't feel welcome in this bitch. Nigga don't feel like the house of the Lord. Feel like the house of shade. And got the fuck up on out of there. I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to keep mine really short. Number one, they don't tell you the entire truth about the Bible. Like they, they, they don't teach most of their their audience like everything that's in the Bible. So it's like they like, they filter it for their audience. I don't respect that because that's not the whole entire truth. And they got people dying out here. Yeah. Over this quote unquote truth that you're tossing at them. Yeah. Even though you ain't, even though there's so much that people don't even know about that their own books. they don't even know about the book. That I think they should have a right to know about this shit. And they should know. Number two, the blatant homophobia in 90% of the church. I ain't gonna say all of them, but in 90% of churches, the blatant homophobia slash Misogyny is very, very real. It's very stifling to everybody involved. Um, and it's in that book. And it's also in the book. Which shows a sign of its times. Yeah, but still. Um, and I guess one more thing. Uh, once I realized that church was a business and not necessarily this holy place that surpassed the concept of business, I had to opt out. Because it can be very money driven, no matter how you slice it. So, that's my short version. Um, I think a lot of it go to uh, my, my, like a lot of what you said, D, like about the fact of, uh, I don't care on religion, but it's the fact that you can't admit that your book has flaws. Right. That's what kills me to a degree because certain things, my brain cannot not work the way that God made it to work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And there's things in the book that you can't even explain or look suspect or, hip, or, or contradict certain things. There's mm -hmm. certain things that I've just found in the book that are amazing and great and some things that's fucked up. And the fact that you can be honest with a nigga and be like, this is fucked up. Right. Or maybe this, you know what I mean? Like right. that, that. I would that, appreciate that. That, that, that takes a little, never happen. You know what I mean? It tends to never happen. Because the thing is, there's, there's no absolutes. There's most likely some churches out here, which is most likely the smallest percentage, that are like really like legit with, okay, we're going to learn about this book, and we're going to read this whole book. Mm -hmm. We're going to read this whole book. We're going to read this whole book. We're going to teach this whole book. And we're going to give it the history of this book. And we're going to explain how the King James Version came about and why this is going to, no matter what, be filtered or whatever. You know, they got so much shit that goes into the history when you start learning stuff mm -hmm. and get out, of the, get out of the trauma they put you through when you grow up through it without even realizing they put you through trauma. And it's not even, you know, negativity. Sometimes it's just, you know what I mean, training is like we say, cult mentality. Training you to think a certain way. And you get trained to think this certain way and normally realize maybe that way wasn't right. So, like, when, when you're telling me these stories from the book, and like you said, the homophobia, the, the misogyny, the hypocrisy, there's so much that goes into it. I'm not, like, I'll go to a church, but it, it don't feel real when, you, when you're selling it to me as fact and you know it ain't. Right. And, it, and, that, and that's what would give me. Sometimes I'll be sitting in a sermon. I love the sermons that talk about just life shit. When mm -hmm. the pastor just talk about, man, look, they might, they might bring up some, like, verses from a Bible, but for the most part, they're like, look, I'm, like, 50 years old. I'm a leader of the church. Life, 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 Proverbs type messages, and we just running it about real shit and how you should live better, how you should be better, how you should handle certain situations. I love those kind of sermons. The ones where y'all just yelling at me and prophesying to me and judging. God, I want you to be Pope. Nigga, all kind of crazy shit. Like, see, with the shit. money into it, and when you got this shit that's like condemning folk, and, and it's not, none of that's right. It's like when you talk about the God of love and shit, and then you tell me all these hypocritical things about. This, you hate gay people is like how they don't make no sense. Mm -hmm. uh, on their podcast, one per, uh, I think it was Chelsea brought up how some people say, well, we, humans are only here to reproduce. Humans are not only here to reproduce. That's a, that's a very oversimplified. Humans uh, were made before they were reproducing because if you read your own fucking Bible, dog, Adam and Eve was chilling here and then Eve bit the, bit, bit the fruit and that's when they made, made her get the pregnancy. They didn't even know they was naked. Right. So we weren't even created to reproduce originally. Right. You feel me? You go on that level and then you get to even more common sense situations. How if that's the case, anybody that don't reproduce, I guess they condemn the hell too then. Right. Straight up, straight up gay. By the logic. If you're going by that logic, if we're here to reproduce... You did? What, what, you tell? what happens if we all fucking babies. overpopulated this motherfucker? That's not a problem. 
You don't no, hear the reproduce. Populate this motherfucker. No, they got so many things that they got. They got so many China logic had to holes. Make a law about, at one point, fuck about second children. It's just so many logic holes, man. And I'm like, dude, you can have your faith. That's fine, dog. You can believe what you want to believe. That's fine. Just don't tell me it's the absolute fact. Don't tell me it's the absolute truth. Don't ride that wave. Just be like, oh, this is what I believe. I think right. this makes sense. And my deal too is stop using the Bible to prove itself. That's circular how you, logic. How you gonna ask yeah. these niggas to believe in what they believe and not sell it to you as if it's a fact? You don't they have would, to sell something to me as a fact. If they believe in it, the hell is they supposed to believe They believe, believe that it, this happened. It is a fact. Today. No, no, no. A fact to you does not mean that you're selling me this as fact. It's one thing to say that um, no. if, if you don't believe this, then according to my religion, I believe that you're going to go to hell. It's not the same as telling a kid, guaranteed, you don't believe in Jesus, you're going to hell. That's fucked up. Man, that's how you question about your faith. And you don't believe hard enough what you tell you should do. And that don't have to be questionable. That's that's a, that's a one way to look at it. But I don't believe that's questionable on your faith. I feel like the faith should be getting taught in the manner of knowing the book is flawed because at the end of the day, all your book even say man is flawed. So how can you have a perfect thing? And then if you go into the history and saw King James, you see all the transitions. We got all these translations, all these different versions, all these books left out, all these filters, as D-Max said, all this shit that goes into the history that you don't teach your people. You feel me? I'm saying be transparent. Teach your people this shit. Have a like we was arguing with, we was having a. I was having to be with your partner Austin, and I told him straight up, I be feeling like, I be feeling like, dog, I have more faith in your God to be than you do because they be shit. I'm like, why don't he do this? And you be acting like he can't, dude. He's God. He should anticipate all things. He's God. According to your logic, dude, I feel like nigga, if you say this the most powerful motherfucker, and I'm respecting him as the most powerful motherfucker, then that means aside from the fact that it's goofy as hell that Jesus didn't write no books of the Bible, be supposed to be the human manifest manifestation of God. Aside from that, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying just on a level of why hide anything if it's real? If it's the real, tell can, the whole it truth. It can too. stand. Even if it did, even if the books were written by men, and you want people to believe that they were inspired by God and God wrote through them, even if you want to ride that wave, keep it all 100 and still stand by your religion and your convictions and right. your beliefs and your faith. That's because that's if it respectable. Was written by God, nobody would be able to break it down in the way that people do now. God like, would be beyond it would, us. It would it would be so uncomprehensibly flawless. Like, there would be no possible way for the mere human mind to, like, find holes in it. But then they if go to it faith. was written by a, by a God. But then they say. go to faith. They're supposed to have faith that this was right. But I'm like, dog, that's a lot. Of, that's an that's a, a interesting scapegoat. It's a very interesting mm -hmm. scapegoat, dog. Just and, believe it anyway. And no, again, if it was all about God teaching, writing through people, you got Jesus sitting here, they didn't write shit, and somebody else over here saying what Jesus said. Nigga, Jesus was here. 50 years after the fact, mind you. So it's all kind of things that go into it where it's like, my nigga, like, you know, just be real with yourself at the end of the day. Even past as leaders, stop trying to sell this as if... Stop telling these kids that this is the absolute unabashed truth. Right. Tell us that's y'all beliefs. That y'all believe this. And why you believe it. Sell your situation. You know what I mean? Because if you say, I believe it because of this, even if it is flawed. But this is why I believe it. Because once again, cults exist without a higher power or a promise of anything. Some people just fuck with that leader hard up and say, I want to live my life like he say. Because he, he sold me the dream. Charisma. So, that shit works. There's so many ways to go about it, son. So I stopped going to church because I stopped believing what the hell they were saying to me. Now, if you invited me to a church, I'll go and listen. But the moment I feel like my, my intelligence is being insulted, I'm going to leave. Because yeah. that's what happens, too. Sometimes, you know, certain sermons I might hear and I might be like, man, I don't even make no damn sense. I can't take this. I got to bounce. So it really just depends. Yeah. If you're quiet, suck, I'm going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> And you just was talking about you. It was a show. Now you don't. Now you want more show. Yeah, want show. yeah which one is it? <laughs> See, son, the choir's always got to be the show, though. That's the best thing about the Baptist church is the choir. Yeah, man, that is though. Because sometimes you go to some of the Catholic churches. Cause I, I, I've only been to Catholic church one time. I like Catholic church. I don't. It's it was right. so confusing for me. It's like the a choir, the, of demons. the music mm -hmm. sucked. You're not really supposed to read your, out the Bible yourself. Someone reads things to you and tells you things to you. At least in the Baptist churches, right. they encourage you to read your Bible, have your own relationship with God. And so, you know what I mean? The Catholic so, church is scary. Oh, oh, pray to this pray to this saint instead of to God himself. And all that shit just scared me. And I'm like, okay, I'm not with, so with this one. This, this is why I did Catholic church. I've been going there a couple of times recently. And some churches, I ain't been to the Catholic churches like that, but I'm pretty sure they all haven't been to one yet. But the ones I've been to... It's uh they they be speaking with it when they they speak back they all speak it they all speak at the same time really and like 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 the lady sticks her hands up and they all speak at the same time because that's a signal for everyone to do in unison. Yeah, I know they do have Baptist churches too, but their Catholics aren't encouraged no, to I'm the saying. degree to read their own Bibles or to oh. pray to God. 
Uh, I don't know. And I understand mean. confessions either. Why well, I'm gonna tell you my confessions? You're a man. Uh, that's, 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 that's different rituals, culture. different rules, yeah. different, you know. I mean, that's but, why I'm just saying turn me off, personally. I like it because, like, um, well, at least with the places I've been, is the solace of peace. Like, um, I don't, I don't, I, I get past the songs, I get past the prayers, I get past all that, and I get that moment where I just be on the knees, quiet as hell with my time with God in that moment right there, in a place where, like, you know, especially the, the places I've been with people had a message. It, I, I mean, like, I, I, would say, I would go past all that and wait till I get to the message of what the dude was talking about. Because the thing is, it'll be some scripture, like you said, then it'll always be some kind of story that I really would use. And I'd be like, cool. And then I have that on a long time of quietness that I really can't get in the Baptist church too much. How? Because what you said happens in Baptist churches too. Uh, I grew up in one, son. You just like what, I, what, what I, part I of that? Don't one all the time no, but I'm saying is how you can't get that out of Baptist church. What you just said, a, a, a pastor telling a message, and then you have the moment of quietness and such with the prayers, like that happens in Baptist churches. The message is uh, like it be like it be a lot of show with the message. It be like huh, cause the story huh, around the way. Huh. They're not all like that. I ain't saying they all like that. All the churches that's Catholic group that I went to ain't all like that. But I'm saying from my experience, that's what I liked about it. You know, I'm saying that from my experience with black churches. They were Baptist. I, I, I didn't get that kind of feel. It was a lot, like it was kind of noisy for the most part. The prayer, I, I, I didn't feel like I was by myself because they fucking make you stand if you're a new member, uh, like if you're a new person visiting. I didn't get that, that shit when I got to Catholic Church. People didn't even know I was even there. I felt like I was all on my own. You go to a Baptist church, everybody greeting you with pamphlets and shit and want you to come sit this, there, and the third. And it's, you know, it's a lot more interaction with the person. So you don't like the familial atmosphere of a Baptist church? Um, because everything you they they try to make you feel welcome and they try to like that's I think that's my problem with the Catholic Church it feels so robotic because like I said they tell you actually stand up to see a new member okay this is who you are I'm acknowledge you as a person welcome that's why they do that but I'm saying I the feel, Catholic I Church feel, is I, like I, robots I feel like, I feel like sometimes they, like certain church black church Baptist churches bombard me with too much but you want the Bap Baptist Church quiet with all the loud noise and all the hoopy hippity I like the songs yeah okay. But the thing is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. But I don't, I don't, I don't like to be, I don't like to be that visitor stand. You know what I'm saying? We want to come, like, if you want to come back to the church and convert you, or if you want to come join this church or call out to Jesus and the third, like, you know, those things like, are like, if you got the blood warm in your veins, come on now. I ain't got none of that experience in the Catholic Church. You know what I'm saying? I just been, whoop, 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 whoop. I'm out of there. Whoop, whoop, I'm confused, whoop, 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 but whoop, 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 I got you though. I mean, like, cause. What, I, I can understand if you you said you don't like Baptist churches basically because they ask you to stand if you're a new member. No, I don't. I just, I just don't like because that's the only one I can see happens to them in all Baptist churches. The other things you're saying is not particular to Baptist churches. You feel me? Especially when we talk about like messages and how they're given across. That's dependent upon what pastor is no, in your church. No. So I'm saying I'm trying to get what thing is so inherently Catholic to ch Catholic churches that's not in Baptist churches aside from standing because that only that's not even. What, four or five minutes of the whole two I, hour experience. I guess, I guess, so I'm saying I, 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 I can't. I guess the familiarity. The 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 don't sit here, don't do that. People, they all don't do that either. So that's what I'm saying. No, no, but all like I said, all Catholic churches don't do what I do. Not even the majority do to this, tell you what is sit is what this, I'm saying. This is, this majority is, do have new members standing up. Certain things are majority and certain things are. That's what I'm saying. That is a majority when have you standing up as a new member. Most do do that. Most uh, don't tell you what is sit. Uh like you can't sit in the front, like what you call them? Now what? Now what a deacon sit at? Oh, behind what a deacon sit at? Oh, behind that right there, because that's just in the third. Uh, all the people that come there regularly that you don't know, you can't see, like, 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 dog. Growing up in the black church, son, and like the things about having songs and all that was popping, but the things when it came to like prayer or something like that, I feel like somebody was always watching what I had on, always watching what I was going was dealing with me. I just felt like there was too fam like the church family to me was too too familiar, and I guess I wasn't looking for a church family. And you I was a child, for a church. And you were a child at the time because that's the thing. You also said previously that you didn't grow up in a in a in a, in a church that you went every now and then. And I'm saying, I'm as saying. a child going every now and then is a different experience than seeing what I these mean, but, things but, 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 entities but, like, are. In for middle real. school, dog, when I'm especially in middle school to high school, when I moved in with dudes. I was in church every Sunday. And you saying, oh, we're gonna be going around in circles. But, like like I, I feel like, but I but that but but. I, I can't like his Catholic Church is scared of me. Baptist Church is scared of Joe. Listen, this episode, oh, yeah. <laughs> let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, this is that actor guy, Martin Bats Bradford. You can find me on all your social media platforms at Mr. Bats. Spell it, Mr. Out. You ain't going to find me as usual. Well, I say hit up flywithbats at gmail.com because we want you to be part of the conversation. Any comments you want to talk about, I mean, you can answer the question yourself, man. Do you go to church? 
why do you go to church? Why don't you go to church if you don't go to church? How do you feel about anything that we just said? We might be totally off the mark in your, per in your perspective, and we'll be gladly and happily ready to have that conversation with you. Hit us up at flowerbats at gmail.com. Also, like, share, subscribe, and comment on everything, bro. Also, hit up our Facebook page. We had a whole Flower Bats Facebook page out here. Check it out and hit the like button, man. All likes matter. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Let me pass that on out here. And, of course, it's me, your boy, D-Mac, man. Catch me on Instagram at frenchbread.kid. Follow my clothing, Lizine, at your dig 504 And, uh, I guess I'm done. <laughs> you dig? Passe wine. It's your boy, Alpha Joe. Fresh out of the gumbo, still deep in the root. And if you're out mm -hmm. in the streets and you're looking for me, you can find me on IG, Alpha Joe, no E, 504, bitch. 69, side A. Don't get nothing on you, but you probably do because it's 69. You feel me? Until next time. Deuce! Bitch ass nigga. General just like the army. Most real niggas know, most niggas phony. Your shadow got your back, huh? Just like your homie. That's why shady niggas will harm thee. This act Caesar. Brutus got him and caught him before his last breather. If that don't make you believe us, then you'll learn. Honesty is a quality that will burn, but it's cool. And trust is a quality you will earn. You a fool if you take you learn all of the rules. Imitate and imitation, and they calling it cool. I know a little bit, but go ahead. And call me a fool while you sprinkle sugar on shit and you calling it food. See, I'm just trying to groove and you standing on the wall with your hands on your balls, making crab clubs move. Trying to bonk at a dog, but I don't bonk. I just fall back till you think you're winning, but you lost in the beginning. Ay. One goal, one thing, one move, man, that shit don't change the sir. Real niggas do real fucking things. Real niggas do. There's only one goal, one thing, one move, man, that shit don't change. And it's certain real niggas do real fucking things. Real niggas do real fucking things. T.I. Z.Z.